like Wendy Williams. Ooh, ooh. So when people Hi, friend. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Virto. How are you guys doing? I'm ready for this live stream. It's going to be so much fun. Right now, I'm just uh, announcing it on Instagram that I am on live and we are ready to go. Today's your 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Aiden. How does it feel to be 18? I remember that was such a special moment for me. Marmar says, hi, Sergio. Hi, how are you? Today's going to be a good so day. Say, what are you doing? You say things. Today's a good Friday. I mean, it's, it, was, it looks kind of sad here in Houston. It's a great. Been waiting all day for this live. My birthday is this Sunday. I'll be 33. Well, happy early birthday. Sorry for being a little bit late on the live. I was busy. Well, not busy. I was like in Houston traffic. And I may or may have not <laughs> stopped for a little drink. Uh, Cell says, hi, I missed you. Hi, how are you? I'm back to doing the live streams. We started the first one last week. And now we're back here and doing doing the damn thing, you know, back, back to, you know, to my usual self. Liz says, hi, from L.A. or Louisiana. Not sure, but, I mean, hi, from L.A. or hi, from Louisiana. Um Hi, babe. I love you. Uh, this is from Hell, Hellux Media. Um, hi, how are you? It's been a while, but I'm excited to be back on live and start doing them. Uh, I met a subscriber like last Friday or last Saturday. Last Saturday. Um, hopefully she comes through. I told her about the live. So if she comes through, I'm going to be so excited. But today it's tax tree weekend. I just came back from the outlets and there was so much fun, fun, good stuff. I did a lot of vlogging, so that vlog will be out sooner than you know it. Abraham says hi from Dallas. Hi from Houston. I'll be in Dallas very, very soon. You guys know Dallas is my hometown. I love Dallas and I love the people that <coughs> that rep Dallas as well. You know what I mean? But I love Texas in general. Oh my God. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more people in. If you guys can give this live a like, I would appreciate it. But the outlets had so much good stuff, guys. I have so much tea to tell you guys about all the stuff that I saw at the outlet. Girl, there was Versace La Medusa bags finally at the outlet. There was so, so, so much. Oh, Liz said from Los Angeles. Well, hi from Houston, Texas, baby. Um, I uh, like LA. I definitely am overdue for a, a Los Angeles trip. I have it's gonna be two years on my birthday weekend that I've been to LA. No, actually, no, I was there last year, but it's been a hot minute since I've been to LA. I definitely need to go and kick it up. But I feel like in every single city, I always find people to uh, kick it up, um, just because all of my scrubbers are from all over the world, all over the states, and that's something that I love. If I say that I'm going to a certain city, you guys always come through with the recommendations and everything. Uh, Rinka de Lara says hi from Japan. Oh my god, we have Japan in the house. Oh my god, I am like obsessed with Japanese eBay accounts where they have like all the good stuff, like all the designer stuff, like really, really low. And I just love seeing like all the all the Japanese like resale sites and all like all that stuff, like this Chanel, like vintage Chanel stores where they have everything. I think it's so so cool. It's not something you see here, but in Japan you do. Uh, Gracie says, hi from Seattle. Hi from Houston. How are you doing? Um, Burberry says, hi, hello, hey, everyone. Thanks for inviting Mr. to your Friday, Friday Friday night party. Yes, yes, yes. Even though today I, I feel like uh, after the live, I'm just going to go have dinner and I'm going to come back and go to bed early. I'm quite exhausted. It was kind of like a rainy day here. Like I was walking through the outlets today, the premium outlets and I got kind of like, I was all over like, you know, a bunch of water and stuff. And so I feel like I'm definitely tired. I definitely want to eat uh, my little Dunkin' Donuts drink. And I am ready to um, 
to eat girl, girly, uh, a girly can eat here. Um, Danny says, hi, Sergio. Hi, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Um, it's going to be a great live. Um, Sergio, you already helped me to find myself and come out, out of my safe zone and live and live life more authentically for that. You're awesome. Oh, I, I mean, I'm glad that I, I hope I hope you I helped you to, you know, be more comfortable. I always tell everybody you only have one life to live. You need to live your life. And at the end of the day, if people don't like it, if people disagree with it, at the end of the day, it's your life. And you know, time goes by so fast. I was watching a lovely tea live stream yesterday, and I feel like these days just go by way too fast. I feel like I woke up like five minutes ago. Time and everything goes back way fast. So you gotta live your life. And you got to do everything. Uh, Joe says, hi from Miami. Oh, we got Miami in the house. I love Miami. I always have such a cheeky time in Miami. Oh, my God. I have I have stories for days in Miami, in Fort Lauderdale and in Miami. Girl, that, it's a whole, that's a whole other conversation. But we got Miami in the house. I bought the small black, white uh, Bottega Veneta Acro. So thank you for inspiring me to go for it. Um, I, does the smaller one come with the pouch with a little zipper on the pouch? Um, mine does, but I really don't use it. So I want to know if you actually use the pouch on mine. I kind of use mine as a receipt holder, but not uh, but not really. Um, and Marie is from Toronto, uh, so we got Canada in the house too. See, we got a little bit of everything. We got Miami, we got Toronto, we got Japan, we got LA, we got everywhere. Even here in my home state of Texas, y'all, we got a little bit of everything. Um, Christina says, hi, what's this tax-free weekend? I'm starting from California. Is this a Texas thing? So yes, tax-free weekend happens one time a year where like everything under a hundred dollars is tax-free as far as like clothing, shoes, which now I feel like with this economy, I think they should raise it up to like $150. But like, let's say like this Aritzia body suit is $38. It'd be tax-free this weekend. Um, a school supplies, like you know, things that people need, like children need for school is all going to be um, tax free. Um, it all, like I think like uh, printer cartilage, like it's a it's a just basically back to school stuff. And it's under $100 and it's all tax free. So the tax in Houston and Dallas is like, I think it's 8.25. And so for every $100, you save $8 and 25 cents. We have a lot of kids, you know, you know, I think, you know, for every thousand, that's that's a difference, but not as much, much, much for if it's like not a big, big purchase. But it is more of a Texas thing. Um, Ruth says, hi from Washington, D.C. We got Washington, D.C. in the house. Uh, Liz said, the way you put me on long shop, uh, I use a huge nylon bag as my treble duffel and I haven't looked back since. That's the bag that I used um, when I was in Austin for that little Michael Kors trip. I knew that I bring, I already knew I feel like I was, they were going to spoil me. And so I done brought my little long shop. I done folded it and I said, girl, I need this. And I was right because I had to check in my, I had to check that in. I didn't want to check in my remote because I'm like all my nicer stuff, but that little small one, girl, because I already had like a big tote. So I had the big tote, the remote luggage, and then my long shop, I put a, like my ring light and stuff in it. And I was like, girl, I said, this came in clutch. Those long shop duffels, the big ones, they come in handy. I love long shop. I'm not sure if you saw my shopping vlog last week. I mean, yesterday. I bought a long shop for $30. That is sickening the house. I was going to wear it today, but I knew it was going to be raining, so I didn't want to wear it. But, I mean, long shop is, is is one of my core favorite brands. I will always, always, always love long shop. Maybe from times, they can be a little boring. I'm not going to lie. But look behind me. I have more, I'm, I'm more of a simpler style. I am going into more color, more variation. I feel like I was very much like that last year. And uh, you'll see this uh, going, continuing on as I'm starting to venture out to more color and style. Um, I have a very, very nice handbag purchase. Well, not a purchase, a gift very, very soon. And so I will tell you guys about that later. But it is so nice. Like, it is definitely not something that I would ever get. But I'm getting it. It's kind of like the Loewe puzzle bag where it was just the perfect time, perfect opportunity. And it's an, it's part of my birthday gift. So I'm so excited to get it. And I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Um See, I kind of go off topic sometimes. Um, Marie says, I just bought the, uh, I just bought it so the white, black white has a detachable white pouch to match the whole white lining. The black leather is smooth. Um, I didn't want the pebble leather. Yeah, the smooth leather is actually pretty great. It doesn't really scratch or anything. Um, I never had any issues. Even like when I break and my back goes flying into the next universe, um, nothing really happens to it. It actually holds up pretty, pretty well. So 
Um, I think I think you're gonna have really great uh, wear and tear on it. The only thing that I would say is just as you get little spots, just kind of like spot clean it so it's not a whole lot of time frame. Like that one took me a while to clean it the other day. Uh, Laura says hi from San Antonio. We got San Antonio. We got La Cantera. We got Fiesta, Texas. The Alamo. We got everything in San Antonio. I love, love, love San Antonio. Um, mi padrino, my godfather, lives in San Antonio. Um, I always forget the city, but it's like uh, one of the suburbs. But he lives there, and so I love San Antonio. Um, Michelle says, hi, hi. Saw your recent video. Grab the Prada Crystal Cleo back from Fashion Power recently. Have you heard anything about Prada Crystal's tarnishing or any other issues? Um, as far as me on my end, I have not heard any. First of all, congratulations on your bag. That's such a pretty bag to begin with. I always see it on a lot of people. And I prefer the Cleo crystal over like the Prada nylon crystal. In my opinion, I feel like the Cleo has more structure. It's a little bit more pretty. And it's more dressed up. I have not heard any issues. I heard the bags are really glued on. They're really, really well. And they, they are pretty, pretty good. I have not heard anything. So I feel like you should not have to worry about any issues or anything. Um, but as far as the crystals, I forgot how they go about the crystals. Like they use some sort of technique on the bag. I've only looked at the bag up close like one time. It's my friend had it, but they, the way they, uh, like, it's like a hot, like they hot press it or something like that. And so, um, so they don't really come off at all. So you won't really have any issues versus kind of like my Kokai or some of the other bags where they're like more kind of like metal is around them. Like the way the product does putting their crystals on, um, they're made for it to be on. So I don't think you should be worrying about any product uh, issues. So I think you should be good. I would say use that beautiful bag because the bag is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's see. Burberry says, I wish I kept at least one long shop. will be purchased when I travel. I mean, I feel like long shop is something you should, I feel like everybody needs in their collection. Now, should I say everybody should have 10 million long shops? No. I don't even know how many long shops I have. I think I have I have three long shop bags. I have a large nylon, a small strap with nylon. I have the yellow one that I bought yesterday at TJ Maxx. And then I have a, a, the one with the strap. I have the matching little pouch for it. So I have four long shop items and I love them all. And next month, allegedly, I'm supposed to get a leather long shop part of my September delivery with one of my favorite brands that I always partner with. You guys know about that if you guys know. So allegedly a long shop or a diesel bag is supposed to be my collection. And yeah, I could not be more excited to show you guys some of the newest and the hottest bags. And yeah, but I feel like everybody just needs at least one long shop. Uh, Drew Thomas, I met him uh, up in Dallas when I was actually in Dallas. This was probably like two months ago. Uh, he says, hi, Sergio, met you in Dallas. Yes, we met in Dallas at Roundup in Dallas. Such a vibe. I feel like I was like a little awkward, but you know me, that's like me in person. You are the real deal. Such a... Uh, such a vibe of a person so humble and so kind thank you so much drew love meeting you love meeting your other uh, sisters that you were with you know like the girls you were with and uh, hopefully dallas treated you right and you need to come back to dallas or maybe even come down to a uh, little ghetto old houston so you can see how the people get down here if you know what i mean um i thought you said some crystal bags tarnish yes yeah, some crystal bags tarnish but the way the product ones are made and stitching and everything they're made pretty pretty well so i don't think you should have any any issue uh with it uh burberry says i want to restart wearing my what i own like the speedy 25 and epi my burberry bowling bag from b day i will love the uh boutique vanilla plaster pouch oh you should wear your speedy epi I i'm not gonna lie i've always liked i mean i'm not a big lv fan at all but one thing i will always say i always love louis vuitton epi leather i think epi leather is really well girl i can run through my i can scratch it like if i was a cat kitten or whatever our dog can like play around with it i mean you know not buy it but you know what i mean you know be a little rough slam your brakes everything that bag can go through hella back and so you should wear your speedy 25 i think 25 is such a cute size for the epi especially having a pop of color uh burberry bowling bags i was at the burberry outlet like literally like an hour ago um, yeah, I think you should wear it. They were actually having a really good deal. Y'all are really going to like the vlog that uh, for, for the premium outlets. We were at Versace, Burberry, Coach, Michael Kors, Birch, Saks. We, were, we did the whole deal. Uh, Watch Station, um, the CCO. We went to a lot of stores, me and my friend Ross. So you're going to love that. And there was a lot of great stuff on there. Um, the Prada Rafia, I still may consider. Um, 
I still like the Prada Raffia bag. I like that the handle's a little bit longer, so you feel like you can wear it more as a shoulder bag. And so I feel like it's just a little bit more better for like everyday wear and tear it. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's more comfortable. You can wear it with the jacket and stuff. The Loewe vape, I always feel like I have to put it in a cart or always have to kind of carry it on the crook of my arm, which I like, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have it over your shoulder. Um, oh, we also went to Carl Lagerfeld. We went to a bunch of stores. So you guys are going to see that video. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be a long video. Well, I don't know, maybe like a good 40 minutes, but you guys are going to love it. Um, Brian says, hi, Sergio. Love, I love your style and personality. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you. Um, Michelle says the Cleo was over $1,000 off retail with box card. It's such a nuts deal. You're right. Someone said they're not they, someone said that they are hot pressed, so melted into the fabric. Thank you. Yeah. Like, even when you try to play with it, it's just, they're not like the Gucci Chris, like they're made really well. And I think Prada knew that they were going to master that well. And I think that's why they're so popular because I think that's a lot of people's question when they buy crystal bags, how is it going to wear over time? Can I be rough with it? And I think Prada really mastered that. And it wouldn't surprise me if even more brands start getting into kind of more embellished and crystal bags i just think a lot of brands stay away from that because if something happens like even within a year you know you're going to want to take it to warranty you want to try to get it fixed or whatever you know so, you know something to take care of it and so i feel like for me um that's why um you know that's why a lot of brands stay away from that but i think product kind of mastered how to do luxury crystal bags and you know charge a good price for them and so it wouldn't surprise me if i see louis vuitton crystal bags with like the lv and like ryan suits or something but you got a really good deal. It's the fact that it came with the box and the card. So the card tells you the date and everywhere it was purchased. Uh, I don't know who would sell that to Fashion File. But, I mean, the you know, whatever they don't want is, you know, a treasure for somebody else. So, I mean, you're going to love it. You're going to wear it. And um, I love that bag in holidays here before you know it. So it's also such a beautiful holiday and, like, a fall bag to wear. Uh, Barry says, you are awesome, Sergio, for communicating to each of us. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to keep keyed up. You know, maybe not somewhat of a Q&A. I mean, you know, if you guys have a question, you know, I answer them. And I love these live streams because I feel like it's very much intimate. I feel like I get to talk to each and every single one of you. Because, you know, sometimes I do these, like, online. Um, like, I do these, like, on Instagram, and I, I type them out. I don't go and, like, say it. But I feel like to actually get, a you know, an answer real time, I think that's something very beautiful. And I want to keep on doing it until you know until you watch other live streams where like they just move super fast and you don't actually get to have like such an intimate moment with somebody so i love to do live streams uh i will start i will do live streams until the live streams start becoming a little too much uh i like how they're like a little bit more knit and tight close these live streams because i feel like i get to uh you know conversate with each, each and every single one of you in real time you know what i mean i think that's something very beautiful and i think that connection in real time is something that is really nice and I love it. Um, uh, Julissa Ramos says, hello, hello, how are you? Miss Jelly says, hi, Sergio. Hi, Miss Jelly, how are you? Uh, yes, I don't I don't like the zipper opening. It's hard to get in and out. Um, try putting like, uh, like, you know, like what they use in the clothing racks, wax paper. Try putting a little bit of wax paper in the zipper and try to see if it goes out a little bit more. Uh, do you think the Prada loafers will be a better choice over the Hermes loafers? I love the Hermes loafers. They're a little bit more softer leather, so they're they're more delicate, kind of like the Gucci loafers. I love my Prada loafers because they can, they've been through it. I've had them for about a year, and let me tell you, they've been through the gigs. They've been through everything. They've been through hell and back. You know, I didn't want to spend $1,000 when I first bought them. I was like, do I really want to spend $1,000 on shoes? Do I really, really, really want to buy them? And I was like, you know what? Yes. And so I bought them. And they are here and they are going strong. So, I mean, it just depends how where. I mean, I take these to the bar, to the club. I throw them in my luggage. I've let friends borrow them. These have been through the gate. They don't even say prod on the inside no more. I wear them without socks. They don't smell. They smell brand new. You know, yes, that's a little bit of creasing. That doesn't really bother me. I think that these babies are 100% worth the money. So I don't I don't have the Hermes one, so I can't speak for them. But the Hermes are going to be very soft like a Gucci where, you know, they're going to get a lot more wear over time and people step on them. So people have stepped on these, done everything with these. I will always say the Prada loafers over the Gucci or Mez, anything over that's a softer leather, I'm always going to prefer these. These are basically indestructible. I do want to get the white ones, but the white ones has a white sole. There's a new version where it's white here, but the sole is black. So I may pick those up. These have been up quite in price since I bought them. 
When I bought them, I think they were $950. Now they're $1,150, which is expensive, like pretty expensive if you ask me. But I've had mines for a while. I've had them for a year, and they've had quite a bit of price increases. But I think they're worth the money, the soul, and everything. Uh, I love these babies. I love, love, love them. And I think that they were a really great origin investment. I use them all the time. Um, Evelyn said, if you're starting real life, how did you manage to start your own YouTube channel? I started, uh, this is from Evelyn. So I'm going to be honest. The way I started to do uh, uh, how I'm shy, I really am shy. I'm kind of awkward. Like people have to come, come up to me. Like today I met a subscriber um, that works at the Versace store. His name is Michael, I believe. Sorry if, I, if it's not Michael. But he came up to me and I feel like I've gotten a lot better. He was like, hey, I want to come up to you. I want to see that I watch your videos, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, Michael. And I was, I was asking his name. And I said, can I have a hug? And I gave him a hug. And I was like, well, thank you so much. And I was like, kick it up and like, you know, talk to the girls and stuff. And then, you know, the whole store at the Versace store, you know, now they kind of know me. They're like, oh, you do YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And so for me, it's just like you kind of kick it up with the girls. You create great relationships. I'm just shy in the beginning to approach. Like, like I'm usually in my space. It's not that people bother me because people can come up to me all the time. I don't, that doesn't bother me. It's just like, I'm just very like in myself. Like I'm always like in my own mind, in my own circle. I'm always doing my own thing or sometimes I'm in and out. But even if I'm super busy or I have something to do, you know, that's super time sensitive, I will drop my phone. I will drop whatever I'm doing to talk to somebody in person. But like I said, I don't really have that. Ever since I left retail, you know, and I think that's something that I lack. I feel like I need to get some sort of outlet if that means like being, you know, playing tennis or playing soccer or being part of a community and like, like other than like going out and stuff. Like, I feel like I need something like that to have an outlet to communicate with people in real life because I feel like that's something that I lack um, communication in real, in real persons because I don't really talk to a lot of people in the, in the day to day life. But as YouTube, I, you can be more. I guess, open, because in a sense, you can really talk in front of a camera. You can do stuff, but you're not in front of random people. Yes, random people watch your videos. Yes, you have subscribers watching your videos, but it's not in person. So you feel it's more easier to become um, comfortable on the camera. And you can watch from beginning videos. You can see how, like, even the beginning of the lives, I was, like, more quiet. I didn't really talk a lot. I was shaking. I mean, I always am that. I'm always moving around, touching stuff. I've taken these off since I've been on live right here. You know, that's just me. But I don't know. I just feel like I've just, um, I feel like it's more better for me to communicate on YouTube. But in real life, it's just, I don't know. I'm just awkward in person. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, so personable. That's what Burberry says. Thank you. Um, Michelle says, I bought the Burberry shoulder bag in light purple from Nordstrom. 60% off plus an extra 25. Uh, torn on keeping down from $800 to 525 Do you think that uh, the TB logo is here to stay? Um, I think I know what shoulder bag you're having. Um, uh, I think it's the one with the silver hardware. I do like that bag a lot. Um, I don't think it's a bad price, 525 That new TV with Ricardo Tishy is doing pretty well with them. Even at the outlet, the outlet really wasn't stocked with a lot of merchandise, to be honest. So that's an, if, <clears throat> if an outlet is not stocked really well continuously, it means that they're selling through a lot of their full price items. And so I would say the TV's here. I mean, I think 525, that's the price of a contemporary bag. I don't think it, it's not super expensive. Let's say like if it was like, you know, Toy Birch bag is 598, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars nowadays. You know, Coach had a price increase of pillow tabby is now 550 from uh, 498, I think, or 495. I don't think it's bad. Uh it, that, that light purple is definitely more of a spring bag, but I feel like you can kind of get with wearing it. It's super cute, and that type of color is very in, and I like it with super hardware. I'd say keep it, and I feel like if you ever kind of get bored of it, I feel like you can always, you know, I feel like you can always sell it for at least, like, $500. I feel like you can get somewhat your money back uh, or, like, sell it to fashion. I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's willing to pay $500 for it, so, or $450 or something like that. So you won't, it won't be a total loss if you were to buy it uh, retail. So I'd say keep it. I like it. I know what you're talking about. The size about it is like this. It's a pretty decent size. I'd say keep it, um, if you ask me. Uh, Michelle says, I love these eyes, by the way. Thank you. You are welcome, Michelle, anytime. Barry says, Prada first. Yes, yes, Prada, Prada, Prada. Oh, I love these babies so much. Um, 
Santa says, hi, hi, how are you? What are your thoughts on Lofer Mules? I feel like it's limited to Bosa Bot and Hermes Mule Loafers, but I saw it myself. I like Lofer Mules in general. Um, let's see. Uh, I have these. I have the regular ones, too. I think Mules is just like a loafer. I just feel like they're more casual. I've worn Mules with suits. They just look a lot more. It depends the type of suit. If it's a very corporate suit, No. But if it's more like of a casual suit, then I feel like these are perfect. You can wear these with jeans. Um, you can wear these with skirts, with denim shorts. I've worn these with everything. Um, I prefer a full backing during the night. During I prefer during the days. I prefer mules, sorry. I prefer mules during the day just because at night, like at parties and stuff, uh, people just kind of sip on your back, especially when you're going to be dancing and stuff. So I, these are more like daytime shoes for me. I don't, because I have the, the ones with the full, I don't know where they're at. I have the white ones right here. Hopefully I don't. Oh. I have the white ones here. I mean, I prefer the full backings uh, over the over the mules. I mean, I prefer mules, but I would say over more during during the day. Now my uh, desk has <laughs> a bunch of shoes in it. Um, April says, I enjoy Sergio. So easy to connect to. I don't feel like he's trying to sell me something. I usually purchase what he recommends. Oh, thank you. I mean, I just kind of say it how it is. I feel like I'm just not like, rubbing your face. I feel like I just kind of mention things casually, you know, if, if people buy something through like my links, whatever, it's fine. It's cool. Like I appreciate it, but um, I don't feel like I have to keep on like selling and selling and selling. Uh, and that's for a number of reasons. I'll say the main reason is I have over like 450 videos. So, you know, a lot of them are videos like that I have a year ago and I don't, I, I just don't feel like I always have to keep on selling things to people. I don't feel like I like an essay. I just feel like I just talk about what I like or what I recommend genuinely. And you can see, like, I, I, I won't say probably 99 of everything that I've recommended. I wear, I genuinely wear myself. I wear, 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 or like I could see my mom or somebody wearing like super close to me. And if I don't see anybody really relating with it, I don't talk about it. Like even with sponsors and stuff. And now I'm doing a little bit more, but I really turn down like 95% of all of them. You should see a lot of the ones that your favorite YouTubers get, all those sponsorships, I get them too. And they're, you know, offering me, you know, let's just be honest. I mean, I'm, this is a live live stream, you know, top dollar, you know, then enough to pay the rent and the car note for the month, but I don't accept it. I don't because I feel like my, my subscribers relationship always matters more. And you can tell when somebody's BSing. And I know some people say, say, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. At the end of the day, though, you're especially your core, you know, you have followers that follow you or subscribers, whatever, but your core, core, core are the ones that are really there for you. And so I rather have a core, core, core subscribers that trust in, you know, you know, fuck with me heavy than to have like a bunch of people that scatter all around. Because there's some people that's been here since the beginning and have been rocking with me. Some people since last month, they've been rocking with me. And I just want to say that, you know, I appreciate it. But uh, thank you so much for that comment, um, April. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know it kind of went off, but, you know, I kind of go off on a lot of the questions. Uh, Ruth says, what are your thoughts about fast fashion like Sheen? And what do you think of fashion dupes? So dupes, I don't like replicas at all. I have a whole video on that. Very controversial opinion. I don't like replicas. Dupes are alternatives. I don't mind. Like, you know, like the Sam Edelman version of the loafers. I don't mind because it's kind of like, uh, uh, it, it's, it looks like it, 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 you know, it's not trying to be, you know, such like, you know, the Gucci loafer. It's similar to good dupe or like these, like a Steve Madden version. I don't really mind that. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that if it's inspired. I feel like sometimes nowadays a lot of, designer shoes, like <coughs> Amina Muadi, <coughs> Mac and Mac. I think like those are not worth the money. And girl, I would buy the, sh I would buy the juice. Girl, I would never spend a full pre-price on no Mac and Mac or no Amina Muadi shoes. Girl, I, I would buy the juice and keep, keep it moving, girl. Or like the Versace satin shoes. I love Versace. I'm, I'm a Versace mommy. I'm a Versace papi. But those satin shoes, girl, I like to drink. I like to party. I like to be la carne asada, girl. If I was right into heels, those satins would get ruined after one night. So, girl, who am I going to go? Who am I going to go knocking with? My homegirl, Steve Madden, is going to come through. My homeboy, Steve Madden. So, I don't mind dupes. I think there's a time and a place for them. Uh, and I like a little bit of mixture of both. Like, you know, it's a dupe of the, or like an alternative from the Dior book tote. And I prefer that one over the actual book tote. And it's one-tenth of the price. Uh, as, far as, as far as fashion, like Shein, I've never shopped at Shein, Princess Polly, any of those stores. I don't plan to. Maybe for a YouTube video. Uh, you know, I used to be a little bit more judgmental when it came like about certain things. I just feel like everybody has a responsibility with clothing. I like to re-wear clothes. That's not a secret. Like this blazer 
Maxmar from the Maxmar Outlet Girl, 80% off. I got it like three years ago and I still wear it. This bodysuit, I got it like a month and I still wear it. The jeans that I have, our mother um, had them for two years. I just showed my foot like Wendy Williams. Okay, what y'all know about that? I had them for three years. You know what I mean? I, I love to have things for a while. I've had these for like two plus years and I love them. I had these for a year. I love them. So for me, I always love to wear items that, are, that have more meaning and I like the more wear on them. So that's why I don't really don't like clothes like from Sheen and stuff, just because they, if they don't last, I I just I feel like it's a waste of money. And I, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I have emotional attachment with items, but um, I don't recommend people to buy from Sheen. I don't care for Sheen at all. You know, it's just not my thing. If, if that's what you can afford, that's your budget. I'm not going to I'm not going to hate on you. I'm not going to, you know, put you down. You know, it is what it is. But I prefer not to. And that's why I do like shopping and stuff like that. So you can see there's other deals, alternatives and stuff. And I really want to get more into thrifting and stuff like that. So, you can, and, you know, do like a thrifting challenge. Not like a challenge where like, oh, like, um, you know what I mean? Like not super like egotistic, like not super like for that reason, like for the right reasons. Like you can actually find good stuff at the uh, thrift store, how to actually look for stuff, how to shop Plato's Closet, uh, TJ Maxx, Ultra Max. So, you know what I mean? So I think I provide a lot more alternatives than like places like Sheen and stuff because at the end of the day, all that Sheen stuff really ends up in the garbage versus maybe this Max Mara, something people, you know, can use, you know, after, if you know what I mean. Um, let's see. Uh, Mari Bell says, hi, Sergio. You mentioned your US page have not moved. More likely the, the label got damaged or box. It'll be there in bad packages. Slow process if you need my friend to investigate DME. I will. If you DM me before the uh, after the live stream, I need to DM you. Uh, I had a package. It was a Tory Burch tote, and I put them. Okay, so I sent them in right after the post office closed, and I put them in that little machine. And I always put them there. You know, it's a nice post office. Like I've never had any issues. Even I lived in Dallas and Las Colinas and Irving and Dallas and Grand Perry, Arlington. Never had any issues. But the box has not moved, and it's going to be I think three weeks on Wednesday, twenty one days. And that's kind of embarrassing. I've been talking to the girl. You know, she's very understanding. I told her, you know, if you want a refund, you know, te lo doy. But I don't know. It just, I don't know what happened. And I don't know if it's just there in the back. I don't know if they forgot about it. I don't know if somebody took the package. I really don't know what happened. But it's a $500 Troy Birch bag. And, I mean, I'm thinking for, for my friend, um, you know, that bought the bag. You know, supposed to go to Chicago. But it hasn't moved. And I keep calling a certain number that they gave me. And they keep giving me the runaround. It's going to get, it's going to get, it's going to get. So if you could please DM me, I'd really, really appreciate it. And tomorrow I'm actually supposed to go to the post office um, to mail some other packages. So I think going forward, instead of me making it convenient and not waiting in that line for them to scan it, I'm actually going to start waiting for them to scan the item in front of me. And so, I so it's tracked versus just throwing them in the box and keep it moving. But please DM me. I would really, really want to find a solution. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys can please give this live a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Mariah says, hi, babes. I'm looking for small everyday back for an upcoming fall. Any suggestions? Uh, Mariah, are you saying for contemporary or designer? Um, for, I will say in the contemporary section, oh, I... One thing about this beautiful YouTube gig is that you get to see a lot of things before they come out. You know, you get to see a lot of beautiful collections from all my favorite brands, and let me say, there's some beautiful bags that are going to come out in the next month or two. And some of the crossbody, some of the bags from your favorite brands, it's going to blow your mind. Like, it's so pretty. I wish I could tell you guys. And so I would say an everyday good crossbody. I mean, I'll show you what I have now, what I'm recommending. But the deliveries that I'm getting later on, um, let me tell you, this fall and this winter, your favorite brand, well, some of your favorite brands are going to kill it. Like, the bags, they're going to break TikTok. They're going to break the internet. But my favorite bag right now is this D. Miller bag. I love it. It's made in Spain. It has a, a lifetime warranty on it. Um, it's plated in gold. You open it up. It's very much giving Tory Burch Eleanor, but a little bit on the vibes. Um, I got this one from the team. I love this. I love that this brand is not all over the place. I have yet to see people in Texas. I have yet to see somebody with this brand here in Texas. Love it, 460 bucks. I think it's really great. Um, and uh, if you look at it, they're, they do a lot of great stuff within their company. So when you buy this bag, you're doing more than just buying a bag versus some of your other favorite brands. I love this one uh, as a crossbody. Um, this pull-in bag, I love. I love this color. 
I think this one with a really pretty white sweater with a really pretty cream sweater um, with a nice little jacket. I think this is super cute. You can adjust the bag so you can make it more of a baguette style and it's a pretty decent size. I'm gonna recommend this one. And let's recommend uh, let's recommend one more, one more. What's another bag that I can recommend? Uh, I mean, my love pinko bag is also a great one. If you feel like this one's a little too small, um, there is a larger version of this. I love it. It comes in other colors. And then the bag that I've been using today, which is my J Mark bag. I was at the outlet and I got so many compliments, like so many, so many, so many compliments today on it, like 10 plus compliments on it. And I feel like that's the bag of the, of the, of the fall and the winter. When I tell you, I've gotten so many compliments on that bag and I gotten so much compliments on it. So I'll say those four bags, are some of my favorite bags right now. Kira Miller says, hi, Sergio. Have you ever seen the fun sunshine toe in person? If so, do you think the leather is good for everyday wear? Uh, I have a friend with the sunshine toe, and then I know people, like, uh, I've seen it before. And I love the sunshine toe. First of all, I would not buy it. Uh, I would not buy it full price. And that bag, they wholesale it sometimes, so you can get it on sale. At least if it's, like, 20% off. And I've seen it at TG Maxx before, like, multiple times. Throwing that out there, trying to make you, I'm trying to make you save some coins. If you didn't know, um, it, yeah, it holds up pretty well. The leather is soft, but I have even you look at the pre love website. A lot of the sunshine took they don't lose its structure, and right, I'm surprised because that leather looks a lot more soft and more supple. It doesn't really lose its shape. So if you do want the sunshine tilt, I think it's a really great one. I really enjoy it, and I never, I haven't seen one that looks busted. Is what I'm trying to say. So I think it looks good for everyday wear. And I think 3000 is not super bad. And I would definitely get the Sunshine Tote over the Dior Buck Tote, leather versus canvas. I choose the leather over the canvas. Uh, Angela says, um, I have the medium Saint Laurent Lulu. Been thinking about selling. Would you, would you sell if you had one? I have a medium Lulu black on black. It's in my closet. I bought it like a year and a half ago. I honestly wouldn't sell it. I thought about it. But I wouldn't sell it. It depends on color. I have the black on black. I like it. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it. And I'm probably going to wear it a lot in the fall with jackets and stuff. Uh, I honestly wouldn't sell it. I love it. And I'm pretty sure that these brands are going to have more and more price increase before the end of the year. So if you were, I'd honestly wait for more and more price increase. Um, I love the Lulu. I think it's a really great classic flap style. That's still kind of like fashion forward with the puffiness. It's not super expensive like some of the other brands. It's not super inexpensive. It's like a great kind of price for the size and the leather. I keep it if I were you. And if you were gonna sell it, um, Fashion File does give high quotes for that bag. So it is a it's a very, very popular within Fashion File. Um Burry says, What are better? The Bur the Gucci leather mules, Hermes or Prada? Uh I probably say Prada, Hermes, Gucci, just because the Gucci's are so soft leather and they get damaged very, very easily. Uh, let's see. Um, Michelle says, you're thinking of the right bag. Thank you. Fashion Hard just offered me 400. If the B to B stays cool, I could probably try to sell in the next fall after using it. Yeah, I'll take, uh, I would say just use the bag, love it, have a little moment with it. You know, you know, if you lose like a hundred and some change dollars, it's not the end of the world. It could be, you know, where you buy, you know, contemporary bag, you know, whatever. I say just keep it. I think you'll get a lot of, Sorry, a lot of nice wear on it. I don't think it's a bad bag. I like it. I think it's cute. And she serves her moment. And I say have fun with it. So um, I say keep it if I were you. Uh, my friend wasn't into the TV, but I told her it's the same price as a Troy Burch. Right? Yeah, it literally is the same price as a Troy Burch. I know that color is not for everybody. I do like the color of that bag. I've seen it because they have like a lime one. Um, I But I do. I say keep it. I don't think you're doing yourself like a disservice. I think I think it's good. Um, Nora says, uh, literally just joined. If you have already answered, can you disregard in a prior bid? Did you that Troy Birch uh, price change on certain bags that's coming? Any additional word on that? Uh, I just don't know when it's supposed to happen. I know it's going to happen. I just don't know when. I heard that they're going to, like, I heard this through multiple, more than one person. So I know that this is fact. When I hear things, usually I hear it from one person because I've I've been there, done that, where people tell me something and it ended up not being true. And so when I when somebody tells me something, I fact check it with like a bunch of people. So if, if it's like, I don't know, if it's something from like a department or like let's say Nordstrom, and they tell me, well, this is going to happen, this is the buy, I'm literally going to ask three other people that work in different places and I'm going to confirm that. 
if some, somebody tells me some tea about this or that, I fact check everything, like through different people. I know that it's going to happen. I just don't know when. I They keep telling me, I don't know when, I don't know when. But they are going to have a price decrease. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. Uh, I think it's going to be by the end of the month, but I really don't know. And I'm going to say allegedly just because I don't want to be liable, but it is supposed to happen. I just don't know when. Uh, Miss Jelly says, uh, let's get more likes. Yeah, guys, let's give this video a thumbs up. Uh, definitely let me know. But back to the Nora question. Some bags in certain websites have went back down in price. Like the Lee Roswell Mini is 548 at Trover's website. On ShopUp, it's 4.98. It went back down. So on certain websites, you may see them first in the Troy Birch, but they are supposed to go back down uh, to a little bit of the original price, like the like the price before the price increase, basically. Um, got 41 likes. We can get to 50. I appreciate it. Uh, Smiley face 385 puts uh, little crying emojis. <laughs> uh, Jennifer B says, what is your least and uh, what's your favorite and least favorite handbag? My favorite handbag is my Troy Birch Eleanor, signed by Miss Troy Birch herself. Got to meet her. Super sweet, super lovely. Probably one of my least favorite bags. Probably that little small Miller one, just because it's so tiny and I don't really use it. And probably uh, my Colt Gaia crystal bag that I just bought. Um some of the crystals I've already popped off and I've only worn it um, like one time and the hardware tarnish. You guys can see that. Look at that. Look how disgusting that looks. Very, very, very disappointed for one wear. This is almost a $500 bag. Look at that. This the so, so, um, so embarrassing. I'm actually really upset. Uh, but that's my least favorite bag. Burberry says, what is she in? It's my Facebook, a cheap clothing store. It's like basically very fast fashion and more fast fashion than like an H&M or Zara. Um, Forever v, uh, VSG says, what's your favorite fragrances? I have four fragrances that I use on the daily. Um, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Byredo Bibliotech, Byredo Black Safon, and Byredo Mixed Emotions. Um, if I have to rank between all four of them, uh, mix emotions because that's the newest one. That's the one that I've been obsessed with. Tom Ford, well, uh, ombre leather. That's my perfect evening set. My third one is Black Safan, and my fourth one is Bibliotech. And the reason why Bibliotech is fourth is because I have the candle, which reminds me of my home. So um, I would say those are my four favorite fragrances. But Byredo in general makes my favorite fragrances in general. I think they do a really great job. I will say I do. I you know I bought Mix Emotions probably like a month ago. I do want to add one fragrance. I just don't know what I want. I I remember like back in the day, I had the original Mew Mew perfume and it smelled like like my tia, like kind of like mature lady. I don't know, something about that scent I really like. I also like the Troy Birch original fragrance and that because my mom, that's my mom's favorite fragrance. And it reminds me of my mom, so I kind of want that fragrance, but I have the candle. But I think I'm content with the four fragrances that I have now. Um, Ruth says, what do you think about uh, Troy... Tori Robinson, double strap convertible shoulder bag, uh, caramel corn color. Um, let's look it up just so, you know, just so I'm making sure that I'm talking about everything correctly. Uh, oh, um, oh, I love it. I love it because it has the um, the chain and with the strap on it and it has a little pocket and it's going to be very durable. And it's very easy to travel with. And it's um, $2.99 from $3.98. It's, it's not a bad price at all. And I like the color because this color is like, even though they call it corn, like more yellow, the caramel really makes it more tamed. And I like, even with the models wearing with it, it's very much giving a fall vibes. And like I said, after after August, it's like basically fall. And I think 300 is not a bad for, for the size and for the versatility and for the color. I think it's a really good it bag for right now. So, I mean, like I ate, like you can buy now, wear now, and you can wear it for like for, for the end of the year. So I'd say go for it. Paula says, hi, Sergio. Can't wait to see all the, all the new fall handbags. Yes, my birthday. I'm supposed to get I'm supposed to get some new newness. I'm so excited for a lot of it. And I cannot wait to show you guys. At the beginning of September, I have, you know, another fun collab. So I'm going to have new bags. My birthday, I'm getting this special bag from somebody. I think, I don't know if they're in this live, but I cannot wait to show it to you. It's like my Loewe puzzle bag. Like, it's like my baby. And this bag that I'm going to get is like, my baby, I've been talking to my friends all about it, like, this last week. Like, I cannot shut up about it. 
my friend Connie is in Mexico and she got me like a really pretty hand woven like basket bag from like artisans from there. I'm excited to get that too. Oh, I cannot wait for the fall and winter Brandon Blackwood collection because I definitely want to add one of those. It's a lot of fun bags and a lot of the, oh my God, I was about to say, it. but a lot of your other favorite contemporary brands and designers, get these coins ready guys because they're, they're awesome. Like they are awesome, awesome, awesome. Angela Allen says, hi, hi, how are you? Oh, no, she put thanks. At least I said hi. But hi, Angela, how are you? Uh, as you can see, I get very excited. I started moving my hands and everything. You know, that's me, very cheeky. Uh, night, night, ASMR. Uh, thoughts on having quality controls with Pullin's been having? Uh, I have not had any quality issues with Pullin. Out of, I, I had five bags. I gave them to my friends, so now I have four. I have not had any quality issues on Pullin. I have not seen any videos on Pullin quality issues, but knowing... Pullin's customer service, I'm pretty sure they're good about stuff, but I haven't heard anything about it. And actually, um, I'm going to put that, I have a Google Docs. I always have a Google Docs open. And so I'm going to look that up. And there's like already some Reddit posts. So I'm going to look that up and we're going to, and I'll look it back out. There, but I did not know about that. So thank you for telling me about that. Um, Miss Kushine says, thumbs up the video, show your love. Yes, guys, we get this live to 50 likes i appreciate it um let's see i heard there is a protective tape to place on soles of shoes to protect the shoes and uh, do you know if it helps my understanding that it does not um just because it ruins it like if you watch videos it, it's not good to have that there it's gonna ruin the sole and everything on the long run i, I mean maybe for a photo shoot and stuff where you're not really moving around i think it's fine but I wouldn't use it for daily wear. I would probably just keep it. Uh, I will probably just get it resold, like buy an actual, like put rubber soles. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I wouldn't put plastic on it. I've seen that kind of go wrong. And also I feel like with the plastic and stuff, I feel like it's more easy to slip and fall and cause an accident within yourself. So I, I wouldn't trust myself. I would just honestly just get them resold. I have only like one or two shoes resold. Um, the next shoes that I'm going to get replaced are going to be these. And as you can see, they're just quite dirty. Um, next time I'm in Dallas, I'm going to take them to Dino's. They do such a great job. I took these to my friend's 29th birthday. And let's just say I had a really good time. And they I have, like, birthday cake and stuff on them. So I'm supposed to get them kind of cleaned and, like, spawned. And I know Dino's is going to do me a good job. So I'm going to get these uh, resold and recleaned, repainted, everything. And they're going to look sickening and brand new but like i said this is why i don't recommend these gucci ones for the nightclub girl if i take these to the bar girl they're trash they're ruined so um and they don't look classy when they look dirty they don't look classy and so i definitely need to get these spot and these are definitely going to go to dino's of island park my favorite place where sergio secret takes all his designer items and they do such a phenomenal job on everything so if you're ever in dallas highly recommend it they do the best i haven't found one here in houston i've asked around but honestly, I go to Dallas like once or twice a month, so for like multiple days, so it's fine. I'll take it to Dino's. They do such a good job. Kay says, hi, Sergio. Hi, how are you? And Sunshine says, my favorite is Carter Lee Pan 3. People think it's too strong, though. Uh, I mean, I feel like sometimes, is I'm pretty sure that's a fragrance, right? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. I've seen this bottle. Um, I think I've tried a sample of this before. Um... Oh, I love the bottle. Yeah, I do look a little pat there. Um, if it's too strong, I mean, people, I mean, I would say just spray less, but I mean, I don't know. I have something about me. I love heavy fragrance or like a strong fragrance. When you smell it, you make a presence. Like you walk past by somebody and they smell you. I mean, just something about that is just like, I don't know. It screams like confidence. It screams like, I know. Obviously, no, there's a difference between overkill, but if you spray a little bit too strong. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes my, I say I over be killing it, but. One thing about me, at least I'm always smell good. You know what I mean? You can be a little too strong, but at least you're always going to be smelling good. Kay says, hi, Sergio. Hi, Kay. How are you? Uh, Nini says, hola, Sergio. What do you think about the Coach Luna bag? I think that's the bag that my friend Pearl uh, tagged me in last week. I could be wrong. Oh, yes. That's my, the one my friend Pearl. Uh, Pearl, it was my friend uh, Nordstrom. I met her. She was watching my videos. I met her during the anniversary. So last year or like two years ago, and then we became kind of handbag friends, and she always shows me a lot of the new coach bags. So Pearl, if you're in this live, just want to say that Sergio Secret, love you so much. Um, the Luna bag, okay, let me just say that there is going to be, uh, I love this bag, but I will say 
wait to the wait to the wait till other variations of this bag. Right now they have them in core styles, uh, but I would say just wait until a new collection comes out because um, you're gonna be probably more colors and styles allegedly. But I love that bag. I love little pochette like my five seven from Saint Laurent. Like I love like little like the mark J the the J mark bag. I'm using with strap. I love little bags or like armpit bags. My Prada nylon. And so I'm glad that more contemporary brands are doing them and that they're leather. I love them. I love a little armpit bag, especially during the night. Um, I think that they are um, absolutely perfect. Uh, Selena says, do you know if you already talked about it? I, I just, you heard about coach price increases. So everything from coach across the board is, is or has a price increase. Like even when I look at the Luna bag, that looks, I mean, that in like, in a real coach world, that would honestly be $248. But everything across the board is going up. Like the studio hasn't went up. Um, let me see if the tabby mini. Sorry, guys. If um, I'm on the I'm on the coach website, so um, right now I'm just kind of looking at some of the prices. Uh, so the coach Cassie crossbody is uh, 19, but allegedly my conspiracy. No, allegedly I've heard this from multiple people. Everything coach across the board is going to have a price increase. The pillow tabby 18 is going to be 450 dollars. Um, everything is going to go up. Like the pillow classic already went up. The classic tabby shoulder went up $50. It used to be $350. Now it's $450. Um, the pillow tabby is $550. Everything across the board. I actually should make a, a LTK post and post all my favorite ones before the price increase. But all coach bags, so all my people that are watching into the live stream, I, like I said, I always keep it real. I'm always telling you guys, is all going to have allegedly a price increase. And I say allegedly just to cover myself legally, but we all know, like, I speak the truth. I just say allegedly for my own reason, all my, just to protect myself legally. But the will is to everything across the board is going to have a price increase uh, anywhere from $25 to $100 from my, what I heard through multiple sources. So if you do want a coach bag, like the Pillow Madison, everything is supposed to go up. So if you have been wanting a coach bag, even if it's full price like the Pillow Madison, I say buy it now because it's probably going to go up in price within the next month. Um, but yes, thank you so much, Selena, for reminding me about that. I always Sometimes I always forget about talking about certain things. But, you know, I'm always um, tell you what I know. Um Kay says, I have a Burberry watch. They don't make it anymore. How do you think I can get the strap? I bought it at Nordstrom anymore. I bought it at Nordstrom years ago. So the manufacturer for Burberry watches was Fossil. So I would reach out to Fossil or like uh, corporate. Maybe they have extra pieces, extra parts or anything. Um, I would say that's your best bet or buying it like on eBay or like Poshmark, like extra straps. I used to have a Burberry watch. I, I think my brother still has it. I think it's still at my parents' house. I said at my parents' house. Girl, that's where my real archives are. Like my high school, like all my Victoria's Secret clothes. I had like Moschino, Burberry, like stuff that I was wearing like before I moved out. Like I have so much clothes and stuff. I should actually do a video where I clean everything out. Like so much band shirts and everything. But I, I did have a Burberry one with the plaid uh, on it. And I love that watch so much. I forgot when or how I got I think my parents bought it for me. I don't remember. But I would contact Fossil because they were the manufacturer of Fossil watches. Maybe they have some few pieces lying around. Uh, maybe they can help you get it uh, get it fixed up, but they are the manufacturer, and I think I know they don't make them anymore, produce them, but who knows? It, I think it's worth a shot. Uh, Jennifer says, "Do you like Celine bags?" Uh, yes, I do love Celine bags. Uh, I love Celine any everything. I really haven't gotten into Celine as a brand, but I love Celine. I think they're beautiful. I I love Celine a lot. I have from new Celine. I have just two Celine sneaker, two Celine sneakers, sunglasses, and a Celine suit. I have not gotten into the handbags or anything, but um, as you can see, it pretty much goes with my style with the handbags behind me. So I would love to get into Celine handbags, um, but I love them all. The chunk feet, um, a lot of them with the with the like traditional kind of monogramming with their prints. Uh, I love, I love, I love. So uh, I do love Celine handbags. Forever VSG says, I'm buying me a new bag for my birthday, September 3rd. My birthday, September 4th. So happy Virgo season, Forever VSG. Um, but... I me and Sonora here don't know, uh, don't know. Oh, me and Sonora don't don't know what. Well, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a toe? Are you looking for crossbar? Are you looking for designer? Are you looking for contemporary? Because uh, there's a lot of options. I can remind, remind, uh, recommend you lots of bags. If you're still on the live, definitely tell me contemporary designer and what type of style. And I'll and I'll think of some great suggestions for you, but. Uh, happy early birthday because mine's going to be right after yours. Um, 
Michelle says, do you think the new Brendan Blackwood B-Metal looks like Balenciaga? I loved it, but Balenciaga, my, my first thought. Well, I don't know. Well, let's keep it real. Um, I'm a, I, I follow Brendan Blackwood on Instagram, um, and he was at the Balenciaga Couture uh, store that they opened in Paris, and he was showing out a bunch of Balenciaga stuff. And so he asked to know that it looks like B, like Balenciaga. And so it did remind me of that. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw it, I was like, girl, Balenciaga. But the thing is, his name is Brandon and his last name is Blackwood. So it makes sense to use his B. Like, it's like if I use, you know, Sergio. I don't know what's a, a brand. Like Sergio Rossi or something like that. Sergio Rossi and Sergio Rosas, my last name, is very similar. So if I use, I can see kind of the confusion and stuff like that within that. And so uh, I'm pretty sure he's aware of it. But I don't think it's, I mean, it is his initial and it is like a generic B um so i really can't get mad at it but i did think about that in the beginning but i don't know i mean his name is b it'd be different <gasps> it'd be different if his name was sergio and i was using a b to try to appear as a bullet and struggle bag if you know what i mean but that's his name and so uh you know i can't be mad at it because if, if there was another one with it that had s um you know i would uh, i wouldn't want people you know what i mean and that, that's just my thought but it did think about Balenciaga. Um, are North Shore Mac watches worth it? It's from Ruth B. Uh, depending what brand you're talking about, but honestly, if you go to Watch Station, they have Michelle, they have Troy Birch, uh, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and Mirpiri Armani. Uh, like for like literally like anywhere from like 50 cents to like uh, to like even 80, like anywhere from 50 to like 20 cents on the dollar. So um, I would always prefer to buy them through Watch Station, and it's about they have a warranty because Watch Station owned by Fossil, and Fossil has a warranty. So after Nordstrom Rack, after 90 days, it is, the system doesn't even let you return stuff. So I would always feel more comfortable buying it through Watch Station, especially if it's like a watch, if you ask me. But it depends on brand though, and the price point. Um, what do you think about the Wave Flamingo bags with extra uh, attachments? Uh, let's look up a picture of that. And let's look it up and we can talk about it. Oh, I love the flamingo bag. And with the, I think there's one with like a chain and everything. Oh, I love it. I mean, I probably wouldn't get, I probably would get the mini size. I'll say I wouldn't. No, I said I would get the mini size. I wouldn't get the tote any of it, but the mini ones, especially with the little drawstring and stuff. I mean, I like it. It's giving much, pretty much like a, like a, I would go for the flamingo bag or it's not flamingo, but flam. I don't know, but you guys know I'm calling it the flamingo bag. Sorry, I didn't. I can't pronounce it right. I think flamingo sounds more spicy. So the flamingo bag, I would definitely get it more, and I would get that over the Bottega pouch, just because I don't really see people with that. It has a strap, and I think it's like a fun take on the soft pouch. Um, but I do like it, and especially with the extra attachments, I think it makes it look a lot more. Uh, I don't know, it gives it more of a of a youthful kind of updated look. Uh, Belinda Babe put a thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much, Belinda, for being on the live. Hubert says, uh, Hubert here says, uh, hello, Sergio. How does luxury shopping compare between cities like Houston, Dallas, Chicago? What's the difference? Um, they all shop for the different markets. Uh, I would say the best shopping out of those three cities, believe it or not. I know people are going to say it's Chicago. I honestly want to say Dallas. Dallas is trying to get a lot more money put into it. Like, we're about to get a Mason Margiela. The largest Gucci store in Texas. We're gonna get um, Louis Vuitton factories like 45 minutes away from Dallas. The Neiman Marcus is like headquarters is in downtown Dallas. So you know all the all the buying is from here. Um, there's a the only Goyard freestanding boutique out of those three cities is there. There's not even a Goyard boutique here in Houston. Um, you know, in the in Chicago, it's inside Neiman Marcus. Uh, there's not a Celine boutique in um, Chicago. There's one here in Houston and Dallas. Um, there's just, I don't know, even though they have more of the sacks and blooming those, like every store has their flagship store there. Um, I don't know. I feel like for the most part, maybe like the Chanel store in Chicago and, and maybe here in Houston is better than the one in Dallas. But I don't know. I, I feel like Houston, uh, Houston shopping is good. I would probably, if I were rank them, I'd say Dallas, uh, Houston and Chicago. Um, a lot of Chicago stores don't, put in as much thought in it as you would think um, versus like in, in the city. I think a lot of the stores, like their better inventory uh, is more now into like Oak Brook, which is like a better, like a shopping mall. 
Um, just because in the city, a lot of people, even residents don't really like to go to the city too much. It's a little bit too much of a hassle. And even when I went to Chicago, girl, it's like too much to deal with. Like, I love the nice stores on the magnificent Mile, uh, Michigan Avenue. But girl, I'd rather go to Oak Brook, to be honest. I feel like I'm, I love that more mall environment. But uh, I'd say Dallas has a 4510, which is a really nice designer store in downtown Main Street. Um, they have Highland Park, which is the largest, the oldest mall in the the whole U.S. Um, we have uh, we have so much beautiful stores. So I would say Dallas has the best shopping, and uh, I would love to hear your thoughts about all that. Uh, so it says, what other further bags do you recommend besides the toe it's from Cell? So um, I saw this one. I forgot the name of it. I saw it on a TikTok video. Oh, the 1927 bag. Uh, I love the bag because I love the little top handle and I love because it kind of reminds me of a Ferragamo bag but without the Ferragamo price point and I love that it has the feet at the bottom. I'm kind of looking at it a little bit more into detail. Um, I love that bag. It just gives me like Ferragamo vibes and it comes in a bunch of colors and I think 448 is not bad. They do. It is a mini bag but it's like suede line. Like the quality is there and it's not, not that mini. And she's definitely giving Ferragamo vibes for like one fifth of the price. So I would say um, that bag is, is the one that I love. And I would definitely would love to add that bag in my collection. I don't think I saw it when I went to Dillard's last time. But if anything, the Dillard's at the gallery, I should have it versus the one that I went to, was, which was more in the suburbs. Uh, Superior Human says purple or green. Green because it's the color money. And that's my dad's favorite color. So I'm a daddy's boy. So I'm always going to pick the color green. Uh, hey, Sergio, how are you? It's from Angela. Uh, I'm doing well, Angela. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? Like uh, Wendy Williams, how are you doing? <laughs> Jonah says, hi, Sergio, new subscriber here. Well, thank you, Jonah. I do a live stream every Friday at 7-ish. Today I was a little late. I was stuck in Houston traffic. Uh, but hopefully you love the content and hopefully you stick around for the long run. And thank you for being a new subscriber. Kay says, thank you. Anytime, love. Uh, Nini says, yes, the price increase is already live and most of the popular styles and rogues have increased by $50. That's what Nini said. Uh, yes, I mean, I was surprised, like, now that I think about it, like, Louis Vuitton bags used to be, like, almost $600, like, a decade ago, and that's what coach bags are now, full price at least, so it's kind of crazy how things are kind of, you know, changing, but, um, but yeah, I, I had a few friends were telling me, girl, I spent my entire shift changing the tags on all the coach bags, like, because they work at, uh, department stores and, uh, coach, uh, lifestyle stores or retails. I'm thinking about lifestyle as Michael Kors. Lifestyle, Michael Kors is, like, their full price and the outlets outlet. Um, Miss Kushni says, thumbs up the video, show you appreciate for all the valuable luxury tips. Get this likes to 60. I appreciate it. We're at 55. Um, let's see. I discovered the brand Twins made by Italy and 20 made in Canada. Uh, really nice clothing contemporary uh, here here and in the US CG Max and, or any other uh, clothing brands uh, at TJ Winners Only. Uh, made in Canada, really nice going here. here. I'm gonna look that up. I did not know about that, so I'm gonna paste that and I'm gonna look that up after the video. That's what I usually like to do. I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I think I'm gonna go get sushi with a friend, but after that, what I'm gonna do is some people watch Netflix, I like to watch YouTuber vlogs, uh, other YouTubers' videos, and then just work on stuff. Like, that's my favorite thing to do. Um, cause I'm inside cause this girl is not trying to get no monkey pox. That's the real tea. You know, somebody DM me cause you know, my arm used to have like these really bad burn marks. Um, uh, that's a whole other story. And so you can still see it. It's definitely fading a whole lot, but somebody will like went off on me saying, girl, you're the, you were the, like, I started monkey pox, or whatever. I'm like, girl, these are burn marks. Like that doesn't even look like pox. You can clearly see that they're burn marks. Um, Let's see, but people people be DMing me and people be saying the most stupidest stuff sometimes. Uh, views on your on uh, phenography charm, please. Is it a good buy? The phenography charm, I think, is the baby one, right? That's around around a thousand dollars. Let's look it up. Oh, uh, it's so cute. Oh, it's thirteen hundred dollars. Oh my god, that's tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, it's so cute, though. I mean, I love it. I mean, it's a cute accessory. She's a moment. I definitely an evening bag. She's definitely serving like you're you're about to go to dinner and you're not paying for the dinner. Someone's paying for you. It's definitely serving like a girl vibes. I mean, I love it. It definitely can serve a moment. Uh, would I buy it for myself? 
Probably not, if I'm being honest. I, if I were to pick a charm, I'll get the small one that looks like a baguette. I think that one is sickening. But the phonography, I feel like, at least with the small baguette, little looking one, if it's my credit card, the photography, I believe it doesn't. I could be wrong. But it's definitely giving girl, I don't get ID checked. Uh, when I get alcohol, it's giving, like, I'm not paying for the dinner. Uh, someone else is paying for it. Someone's picking me up from my apartment or from my house. She's definitely giving a pampered life. So um, if you're into that fantasy, then I say go for it. Honey, you do you. But Miss Thing for here, I'd probably get the small baguette one. Even though, or maybe even the small Fendi first one. I know it doesn't fit a lot, but I'll choose that. The Fendi photography would be my third choice for the mini one. But for a larger one, I do like that bag a lot. I like how it has Fendi like that. Especially when you're out and about doing your thing. Is the Lulu puffer still okay to wear? Or should I wear it? Wait till fall. I think you can wear it now. I think the Lulu is all year round. I personally love that bag more in the fall just because I feel like on my body, like height and weight, I think it looks better with like jackets and jackets and I get more wear with it. And it's also black on black. And I like to wear more whites and brownie bags, like brown bags, like these two during the, like during right now, like my basket bag. But I mean, depending on the color, I would say just wear. I think that's an all year round uh, bag regardless to wear. Uh, Sergio, is it fine that the potato in our crew doesn't have feet at the bottom? Yeah, I think it's perfectly... Uh, I think it perf I think it um I don't think it and nothing bad has happened. I think for me it's just like as long as you just uh, are very aware of what you where you set it down, I think it should I think it should uh I think it should be uh, be fine. Um let's see. Uh you got so many things going on. Uh, I love it. What do you keep yourself motivated? What keeps you going? I want to be like you this is from Ruth. I'm gonna be honest, girl, these girls, these bills gotta get paid. The light bill got to be on. The car note got to be paid. The rent got to be paid, girl. It's, it's not expensive living on your... Like, I would say, like, I don't live in a luxury apartment. I'm not at all. I mean, I don't, like... I live in a pretty... For, for, for me to be 21, I live in a nice apartment. Let's just keep it that. Like, people always say, oh, like, you like, live here. I'm like, yeah, girl. Like, this is, like, my life. But people don't understand, like, a lot of the blood, sweat, tears, everything I have to do to keep, keep myself afloat. Uh, not in a sense where like I'm living paycheck or like not in that sense, but I just keep on going because there's always things that I want. There's always things that I need to do. There's always goals ahead. There's always things that I keep ahead. So I just look forward and, um, that's what keeps me motivated. I'm like, you know, I want to be the person where my, uh, like if my mom says, Oh, Checo, I saw these, uh, Vince Camuto shoes. What do you think at Dillard's? And she doesn't even think that I, she doesn't even do it with attention thinking that I'm going to buy them. I'm like, yeah, mom, buy them. Let me Apple pay you $150. Oh, mijo, you don't have to. My girl, just do it. Even though that's not even her attention. Or like my friends, like, you know, I, I bite them to a nice dinner and they're like, they're ready to split the bill. And I pull out my card. I'm like, here you go. It's on me. Like, I just love to be that friend. I love to be like my friend's birthday. Oh, girl, like um, I want to pull up with the nicest gift. Like I want to, you know, I want to do this. Like for me, I do it not to like impress. I, like I love the people that I love in my life. And so for me, I always love for people to be proud of me. And I love that my mom can be like, oh my God, Miko does this, blah, 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 blah. I love my friends. Like, yeah, my friend, I, I'm friends with a, a YouTuber. His name is Sergio. Yeah, and he's so nice. He's the sweetest person ever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I think that's what keeps me motivated is like within myself, I'm grounded, I'm humble, but I love to make the people around me uh, feel loved, feel appreciated and everything. And in order for me to do that, I have to keep going forward. I have to keep thinking ahead and I have to keep doing the thing. Because um, I feel like for me, it's kind of like a hamster cycle. Like sometimes I go a little slow, sometimes I go super fast. I think that's what keeps me uh, motivated is just going ahead. And when people see me, uh, they think like, oh, like, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I respect his hustle, I respect this. You know, maybe sometimes people don't understand it. Oh, that's weird or blah, 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 blah. You know, once you're in my shoes, you'll, un you know what I mean? People understand it a little bit more. But I do it just to make the people around me proud. And so they could say, you know, not nice things or not because for material, you know, they just know that I'm always keep it real. And I think that's what keeps me motivated. Uh, Forever v VSG says, happy birthday. Uh, gracias, happy birthday to you. Also, ben bendicion, uh, bendiciones, bendiciones. Uh, well, yes, tenemos cumpleaños muy, muchos, muchos juntos. So, vamos a celebrar casi al mismo tiempo. Uh, Miss Christine said, get uh, to 75 likes. Yes, if we get to 75 likes, I'd appreciate it. I would love to end live actually with 100 i don't know if we can do this i'd definitely be super happy uh kira says what are your thoughts on beyonce's lyrics this till far imported imported girl see i got my friends asking me if they want to go out tonight and i'm like missing i'm inside in these streets 
I'm inside. I'm not going out no more. I'm not trying to get no monkey pox. But anyway, back to the back to the question. Uh, them shits in storage. I'm in my bag. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my tin tin hat, my little tin foil hat. I'm gonna pull a lovely tea. What y'all know about lovely tea? Y'all should be watching her YouTube channel. You know, you never know. I think Beyonce and Jay Z are very smart people. I think that they are smart people around them or whatever crew they're running with. They all know what they're doing. You know, maybe maybe she invested in Tofar. Maybe she's having collaboration. I don't think not collaboration, but maybe there's money to Tofar's books. Maybe you know she wants to you know uplift that bag versus uh, Hermes Birkin. I don't know, but it looks a little bit more detailistic. I, I think I think the whole thing of comparing an Hermes Birkin and a Tofar bag, even when people would say, "Oh, it's a hood Birkin." I never really like to use that terminology. Why do? Why does it have to be a hood Birkin? Why can't it just be an own bag within itself? Um, that's just the way I always thought about. And I know a lot of people agree with me. Like I don't. Like I don't know. If, can people agree with me? Like I don't think saying this is a hood Birkin to a Tofar bag. I don't think that's a compliment to the bag. I know maybe Tofar himself maybe likes it. For me, I wouldn't want somebody to call my bag if I came out with the bag. Oh, this is the hood Chanel flat bag. Like I just. Or it says the, you know, I've seen people call it different names. I'm like, you're making it seem less than like we should, you know, be uplifting, you know, designers, creators and referring it to all oh, the hood, whatever. I get why people say it some, like in a, in their context. But through me, maybe I just don't understand it. But I don't know. I feel like things go deeper. And I think with Beyonce's lyrics, I think a lot of people, um, I think I think she definitely knows what she's doing when she talks about, I you know. Even when she had like when she mentioned like OnlyFans with that song with Megan Stallion, maybe she mentioned it just because it's it's regular, you know, maybe just because it went with the lyrics, but maybe she has money invested into OnlyFans. Like you never really know, you know what I mean? So I I I take things for face value, but sometimes you have to go a little bit deep with things. And I don't know, but I think that they're two different bags, and I think to even people to compare them, I think it's quite quite I don't think it's a, I don't think they need to be compared at all. I think they're both in their both different leagues and they both serve two different purposes, if you ask me. But that's just me. Uh yes, I love twins and uh 20. I think my question got passed. Oh, sorry, Danny. Oh, sometimes I says I said pasa eso. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. That was not my intention. I um, may um may I please get an uh, opinion on the Mulberry Mini Alexa and Mulberry Soft. So Softy. So I love Mulberry uh per. Let's keep that real. I love it. So the Mulberry Mini Alexa, I love it. This bag came out like back in the day. I think she's cute. I definitely would buy her pre-loved. Um, there's definitely even the classic black one going for eight seventy five on the retail is twelve fifty. I love that they come in all colors. This definitely gives me like early YouTuber beauty guru days. Um, I love it. And let's look at the other one. And then the Mulberry Softy. Um, she definitely gives me like base water vibes. Like, remember, I feel like that was like such an it bag when YouTube was first a thing. And then the softy. Oh, I have not seen the softy. Oh my god, it's like a little pillow. Uh, I think it looks a little too soft, if you ask me. It, like, I would probably prefer to have the Coach Pillow Madison over the softy. I'd probably go for the Mini Alexa out of both of them. I, I'm not a big fan of the softy. It, it just looks a little too soft for me. Uh, OMG, this is live. OMG, why am I popping off because of this? I love him so much, though. So this is kind of cool, not going to lie. Oh, thank you all for being part of the live. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the likes for being on the live. Uh, I really, really do. Uh, Burberry says, I still look for Paige, Mother, and Jay Brand in jeans. Glad I kept my jeans because they are double the price now. Yeah, everything has went up. Every Everything up. Mother jeans have definitely went up in price. Uh, out of the three brands, I think I think I love Mother's jeans a lot. I feel like Paige, I don't know, maybe just because they maybe fluctuate in weight a lot. I feel like they're a little too stretchy. I not always feel like I have if they're, if they're I always feel like I have leather page pants and they're fine, but I feel like Paige in general, I feel like they just stretch a little bit too easy. I, I always feel like I have to wear a belt with them versus some of the other brands I don't. Uh, e J uh, S. P.S. says, I truly appreciate all your videos. Should you keep up the great work? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Um, did you buy the Furla uh, Toe in Black 2? I see it in your show. Uh, the day you showed us blue Furla sold out on Farfetch. So this one is the blue one. I know it looks a little bit dark because of the ring light. Um, it's a little bit further out. I should, I should probably move it in a little bit closer. It is the blue one. Yes, the original link from the from the Furla Opportunity Toe. You guys sold it out. 
and then the, and then there was like other ones on the farfetch website but they were like over retail and so on my last alternative videos i was able to find one under retail i think it was 311 from 348. not sure if you guys sold it out that time but the original one um you guys sold it out and there was plenty of stock and you guys like bought it out which is crazy that you guys you guys come through now kamal's more says the the party addiction is still in fashion i'm debating on getting it on my birthday I have mine. I still wear it. I still use it on a weekly basis. It's my perfect run around bags when I have to go get a haircut, when I have to go uh, go to the dry cleaners, when I just have quick errands when or like after the gym, if I have to run a quick errand, I will literally have the bag at the gym like ready to go and I can run on my, put, put on my toe, whatever, in the back car and keep it moving. Uh, I think you should go for it. I love my bag. I'm going to still wear it. And if you want it for your birthday, I'd say go for it. Um, how do you feel about uh, big military boots, thigh high, body con top, and blazer and back? I think that's cute. Um, it depends if you're wearing a body con dress or top. Uh, I think that's cute. It depends on the bottom. If it's a dress, I think that's cute because you'll just have a little bit of skin showing. And if it's uh, and then the blazer just kind of makes it a little bit more elevated. Uh, but if you're wearing like a skirt or a short, I think that's still cute. I just probably wouldn't wear it like uh like feel about big military, but I just probably wouldn't uh, tight. Also, it probably is uh, all tight. To, I think that's cute. Body con top, tights and stuff. As long as it, if it covers, uh, like when you put your fingertips down, probably like oh, like right here, when you go down, if it covers it, I think that's cute. You still show a little bit, but not a whole lot. I think that could be a cute moment. Um, what season should I not wear my white Prada sneakers? I think white sneakers uh, goes uh, well, for every season, I think you can wear them all the time. I don't. I don't think white sneakers particularly ever go um, out of style at all. So I would say just keep on wearing them. Um, if, if you were to ask me, um, Kamal's world to nylon bag. Oh yeah, but still, regardless, get the leather and the nylon. I think either or is a phenomenal uh, choice. Uh, let's see. Which LV bag is so relevant besides Speedy? Um, that Loop bag is very popular um, right now. The Alma, I think Speedy, I think like in a way, I think those are always classic. They may go in and out for fashion, but I feel like all those are very core, like a keep all. Those never, ever go out of style. So if you guys ever want those, you know, I may not be that biggest LV fan. I think that there are safe choices to get, and I don't think there's nothing wrong if you get them. They're just not for me. But I think all those are, are really great bags. The Cappuccino is another great one. I definitely would buy that pre-loved. Um, there's a few ones. I think the Artsy, not, is it the Artsy? Yeah. I think the Artsy, there's like a newer version of the Artsy. I think that's another really nice bag. Just depends. The Delightful, I think there's like a newer version of it. I think that's a good bag. Uh, it just depends. But I think that they're all uh, pretty great choices. I don't think a lot of Louis Vuitton monogram, the classier ones are like Epi Leather. Or the cappuccines, I don't think ever goes out of style. Like anything epi leather from Louis Vuitton, especially like in a core color, never a bad choice. Danny, thank you. You are the best. Anytime. And sorry for missing the, the question. That was not my intention. Sorry. So this is a little thing. When I move it forward, it just like moves it all the way up front. Um, do you think the but the white or chalk mini Bottega Veneta is a better choice over the Bottega Veneta uh, plaster uh, color pouch? Uh, yes, true and rag and bone. Um, let's look at the pouch. The Bote, oh, the, the, I'd probably go for the Jody, um, and I'd probably go for the white, um, Jody. I don't know, I, I like the color pouch, but I feel like the, the plaster color pouch, but I feel like there's more. I feel like that's been duped too many times, and I feel like, like the low wave bag we were talking about earlier in the stream, I think like that's a better alternative, but I feel like, uh, I definitely go for the Jody out of, um, out of all of them for sure. Um, so I'll put yes. True and rag and bone. Uh, Diva on a budget. Hi, Diva on a budget. How are you? Hello, handsome, and hello, everyone. Hello, Diva. How are you? Uh, now there are over $500. Uh, yeah, a lot of the jeans have definitely uh, been up. And then someone says, Eric Chavez says, What are your opinions on designer jeans? It depends the brand, but I am definitely more of a premium girl. Like, I have a little bit of everything. Like, I have Ego, do you have? AG, I have Mother, I have Rag and Bone. Uh, I have a little bit of everything. And also have like designer jeans, like Versace and like other brands like that. Uh, I think super, super designer jeans, I don't think is worth the money. I think premium denim, like under three or $400. I think that they're great. A lot of denim does go on sale. Um, so 
I probably wouldn't pay a whole lot of full price for denim. I have like on a lot of my eight goldies and mothers. I don't mind buying the full price if they fit and they look good. I don't necessarily don't mind, but I think getting more of a classier silhouette, I think you can never go wrong. But like Mugler jeans and like, you know, more brands like that, I feel like they're more moment jeans. They're nice if you have the budget for it, but I wouldn't just make that my only pair of jeans because, you know, I, I would much rather have like, for the price of Mugler jeans, I'd much rather have three premium denim, like maybe a mother, an AG, an A Goldie, and kind of rotate them versus having one Mugler. But you can definitely get those all, all on sale a lot. Jeans go on sale all the time, especially premium. So, like, Reformation makes really good jeans as well. Uh, Levi's Premium is also a really good uh, denim, too. But I think they're worth it, and I think 95% of my jeans are designer jeans. I like premium denim, and I love them all, um, for the most part, most brands. Uh, Kamal's World, it's my first time on your live, but always watch your videos. Thank you for the reply. Anytime, Kamal's World, thank you so much for being part of the live, and I do want on Friday every single time at 7. So thank you so much for being a part of it. Carolina uh, Jimenez says, Hola, Sergio. Hola, como estas? Uh, do you collect Hermes Twillies? And I want to wear it as a bracelet. Uh, I do not uh, collect Twillies. I don't have any Hermes, like, silk or, like, goodies like that. Um, I don't. Oh, I guess some dogs are fighting outside. Um I don't collect any Twillies. I think they're cute as a bracelet, like a little moment, especially if you're wearing like a really pretty blouse and like Twillies tie correctly. I'd just be afraid that I, I would eat or like drink and like spill something because I'm very clumsy at times. But no, I don't have any Twillies and I don't collect them as of now. Who knows in the future, but right now I don't. Kamal's World said, thought on the LV uh, Crossetti. Thank you. Uh, let's look it up. Oh, I love that bag. Yes, I love that. I, I probably wouldn't get the, like, the Damier Azor just because I feel like it'd get dirty very easily. But I'd probably get the Damier Abin, and I love the top. I just love the top handle and the strap, so it makes it a lot more versatile to wear. And I think the price point, um, I don't, I'm seeing that uh, the pre-loved, it's not a bad for pre-loved, but let's see what the retail is. Uh, then I'll tell you. Oh, like two grand. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. For a Louis Vuitton bag under two grand, um, is not bad. So <sighs> I'd say go for it. If you want it, go for it. I do like it, but I'd probably go for the Abin. Um, I have the black mini black Jody, so is so is it okay to get second one in white? Honestly, yes. I know a lot of people, like a few people that have Jodies in other colors. And they love them. It goes with everything. It matches with everything. So uh, I feel like there's like um, I feel like you can't go go wrong with them. So I'd say I say go for it. Honestly, I, I mean I would get another Jody uh, too. Uh, for fall, I saw the excess toes are in. Would you be requiring any of snow? What brands? I love love your posts. I've learned a lot from you. Keep going and much success. This is from Sharon uh, Briar. Um, yes, I will be getting um, XXL totes. I definitely want to add like the, a big Marc Jacobs XXL tote, not like the right, like maybe a regular canvas, but like a fun addition to it. I, I really want that big YSL tote. I'm just telling myself, do I really want to spend $4,400 on it? But I, I'm kind of justifying it. I think it's so cute. I think it's so pretty. You could definitely give me like MZ Wallace, but like elevate. Well, MZ Wallace is pretty elevated, just more like of a leather vibe. Um, Mark Jacobs is supposed to have like a reissue collection on the 9th. So today is Friday, Saturday, on Tuesday. So we'll see what that reissue collection will like. And if there's a lot of big bags in that collection, it means big XXXL bags are in. For me, I like big, big XL. I will have them just because I'm a handbag person. Like I love handbags. Uh, but for me, I prefer smaller bags just because I'm an everyday. I don't carry a lot. Um, but I do like totes. I think there's a time for a place, especially I like to carry my laptop a lot with me. And especially if I'm like, uh, like if I'm running a lot of errands, I'm actually, I always carry my laptop. I can always work from wherever I'm at, especially if I'm not driving somewhere. Like let's say if I'm in Dallas and like my friend or my cousin, okay, we're going to drive from Dallas to Fort Worth or like 30 minute drive. I will literally grab my laptop, sit in the back uh, where it's like less sun, sit in the middle and I'll start working. So I love big totes. They always serve a purpose and they're also perfect for uh, to drive around. I mean, to, like, have around, and when traveling, I always have them, and I'm supposed to do a little bit of traveling uh, in the next few months. Um, Barry says, thank you, or oh, any time. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on Bill and Tucker City bags? Uh, the older style, not their new new version. Love your content, Sergio. Oh, I love them. I've been saying for the longest I've been wanting a city bag that's super huge and super large. If I get a city bag, even like the newer older styles, I definitely get a big, big style. Uh, I just love, I just love it. I, I mean, I just love like it's very much like I don't give a fuck. Like uh, I'm running my errands. Like uh, I have my Dunkin' Donuts, my big Balenciaga city bag. I have to run. I have to go to the airport. I'm waiting for my Uber. It's giving much like I'm busy vibes. That's why it's called the city bag because you know city girls tend to be pretty busy. So I love them. The more beatier, the more beat and more gross they look, I kind of like a little bit more. So I say if you have one, wear it, and if you're Planning to acquire one, get it. I definitely prefer the the larger, the better. I love honestly. If you're asking me, um, Lena says I'm late. Is it your birthday? My birthday is September fourth. Virgo season, same birthday. I share birthday. Beyonce shares the birthday with me, um, but it's not my birthday. But we have to talk about Virgo season because uh, my birthday is less than a month away, and I'll be 22, and I'll be singing that song by Taylor Swift. 22, basically for the next year. Uh, my apologies if you already asked, but what are your thoughts on the Celine trophy bag and shiny calfskin? Do you think it's a trendy bag or here to stay price? Well, I believe the bag is 4,000. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up. I, I saw it at Saks last week and I tried it on actually. Uh, it's yeah, it's 4,000. It's 39.50. I like it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. All the European girls love it. Everybody seems to love that bag. Uh, I think it's going to be around as much as the luggage show is around. And I still, I still somewhat think the luggage show is so, like, relevant, the smaller size. I feel like we're in 2022. I feel like by 2026, 2026, I feel like in the next four years, it'll still be relevant. Maybe not a super it bag, but people will still wear it. But I think if you're starting to get it for the solid next thousand days, like three years, I think you're fine. I love it, and I feel like this bag is going to reach to 5,000 within the next two years. So I might as well get it now versus later. And it wouldn't surprise me if they have price increase before the end of the year or before holiday. A lot of brands like to do that because they know people want certain things for Christmas. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I have a lot of these brands do price increases around Christmas, which they tend to do. So I think get it sooner rather than later. And I think 4,000 is a lot of money, but I do like the classicness and the sophistication. And the shiny one is kind of like that Antigona shiny where it looks delicate, but it's really not that delicate. So I would say uh, get it. Um, let's see, but I, I say get it. I think it is here to stay for the next three years. I think it's a pretty decent price compared to like a Louis Vuitton cappuccino and some of the other brands. So I say go for it or like Dior bags. Uh, I find that the paddock cassette is a bit too long. Is the flat cassette too common looking? So I have the paddock cassette behind me. Uh, I love her. Yeah, I, pr I wouldn't get the flat pa uh, cassette if you're asking me. I think that's very more dupable. I think what makes the cassette cassette is like i love the paddedness i think that's a very distinctiveness versus some of the other like some of the paddock is just too easy to dupe so honestly i would probably uh get a paddock cassette in any variation versus just a flat uh cassette if you ask me um i have a large and a mini city i'm obsessed girl grab your starbucks grab your dunkin donuts your water bottle have your phone I love that bag. Like, it's definitely a vibe, and I'm here for it. And I feel like that city bag is perfect for, like, any place anywhere. You can wear it to the grocery store, to H-E-B, Walmart, girl. Definitely wear it to Saks Avenue, and even Marcus, Nobu, wherever. I think it's a very much everywhere bag. You can just throw it around. You can bring it and have it, girl. Bar, club, anywhere. So it's like the city bag just goes, if you know what I mean. Uh, Lena says, how do you, uh, this might be repetitive, but how do you feel about Teddy Blake? Not repetitive. I have not asked, somebody has not asked me this question in a long time. So thank you for actually asking this so I could say it again, but it's been a while. I think it's been like over four months. Somebody asked me this question, five months. If you guys can give this video a thumbs up, if we get it to 75, I definitely appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything but just a simple like. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, just so I know that you guys love this video. Um, Teddy Blake, I love Teddy Blake. I feel like they definitely have changed the direction of their whole branding, if you ask me. They went, and I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been watching YouTube for a long time, they went a lot from like having like Birkin, Hermes dupes, Kelly dupes, and slowly they kind of got away from that. We're at 72, three more likes, guys. And they slowly kind of got away from that. And now they're kind of having their own styles or more brand identity. So they went from a brand very much being like straight up dupes. Like, straight up, like, no originality. We're just trying to make it look like a Birkin, like a Kelly. And they got away from that. And now they are slowly trying to have their own identity and everything. Their bags are made in Italy. And I respect that they 
were to able transition their brand from like straight up copies to kind of having their own kind of collection and their own kind of personality within the bags. So that's something that I could respect. And also that's something that a lot of brands cannot do. If I came up with a, like, it's like it's trying to say like Steve Madden stops doing dupes and they just do their own collections. You know what I mean? It's very hard to do that. So I will say I do respect Teddy Blake for that. I think the prices are not that bad. What I would I add a Teddy Blake bag in my collection? Yes, I would at least love, I, my, for me, I would at least love to have a handbag brand, a handbag from one, from every single brand eventually. I would love to have one Dior bag, maybe more, one Hermes bag, one, you know, bag from Kirk Geiger, you know, bag from this, just so I have, so I can say at least I have one bag, uh, one bag from the row, whatever, but I would at least love to have one. The quality is pretty good, but I will say they earn my respect because they were able to transform their brand, which a lot of brands cannot do that. And I feel like it's starting to get more respected in the handbag community, and they're slowly getting away from that a traditional uh, kind of like super copycat, like from other brands. Uh, Dominic said, Sergio, I feel like Chanel bags are losing prestige. When I see one now, I'm honestly thinking it's fake. Yeah, I see more replicas now than real. I was at the outlet today. It was my friend Ross. I'm like, girl, uh, like when I see a fake bag, I'm just going to be like, that's the tea. And I literally said that's the tea enough to get drunk off of literally uh, what's something that has low uh, low alcohol percentage. A hand, I don't know. I was going to say hand sanitizer. Literally 1% alcohol. I could have gotten drunk out of just 1% alcohol on an uh, eight fluid ounce. I saw replicas and they're just, it's just, for me, it's very easy. Like, see, even a super fake, I could just tell by my bare eye. I don't even, I can just, I don't even have to feel it. I could just tell. You see, even by the vibe by the person, you could tell who ha who's, who has it, who doesn't have it. Like in a sense of as far as their handbag, um, just because I, that's what I do, that's what I do for work. So I, obviously, it's very much easy for me. Some people send me pictures; it is real, just fake. And for them, it probably will take them forever. For me, girl, I can tell you probably like in thirty seconds. I don't even need the. I don't even need the thing. Like on Fashion File, there's like this little game. I don't know if you guys know that where it's just real or fake. I always guess the. I always guess it right, even when it comes to watch and stuff. I've been pretty great on, on authenticating things. And if somebody's in person, girl, even by feeling it too. But I feel like they do lose this prestige. I think I think people are turned off from it, including myself. Uh, I definitely prefer other brands like Prada, Gucci, uh, Saint Laurent, Balenciaga, more than Chanel. I love Hermes a little bit more. Tom Ford too is another beautiful brand. And I think just Chanel lost its alert to me. It doesn't scream luxury. It just screams fast fashion in a luxury verse. Same for Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't know, it kind of lost its little magic and its prestige to me. There's definitely other brands that uh, call my name a little bit more. And I probably will get, uh, this is like the thing for me, like I'm very like particular about like a lot of things. And so uh, this is like one thing that I do want. So if I ever get married, um, which I hopefully I will in the next near future, obviously I want like a lot of kids. My always dream as a child was to get gifted. Uh, the day that I get married is to like, have a Chanel classic flap and have my bowels uh, in a Chanel classic flap in the hidden compartment where like Coco Chanel would write her love notes. And so for me, I just want a Chanel bag just for that because I always wanted that as a child. Because the flap bag that I have is a single flap, so it doesn't count as that. So it's probably the only bag that I buy a classic flap. It can be any color variation or the theme of the wedding, but I would love to have a classic flap to write, to put those letters in there and just to have some sort of meaningful. But I'm kind of weird about things like that. So uh, kind of went off topic, uh, but yeah. Um, for, uh, from where do you buy pre-love bags on rebags the same price as new ones from other stores yes yeah, some stores really be hogging it honestly you just have to depend uh, but I buy just from fashion file but I have so many friends that buy from the real real from other places uh, I can only talk about the real real and about fashion file they both have been really great places to buy pre-loved but uh, you still have to do your research and stuff but if you really want 100% reliable uh, I've never had any issues with Fashion file. They're pretty, pretty, pretty great if you ask me. Um, first is on your bags. Any thoughts? LV Neverfull, uh, Ingrid Rahiro. You have the same last name as Laís uh, Rahiro, which is a Victoria's Secret model. So uh, that makes me automatically love you. And so uh, I think the new Louis Neverfull is not a bad uh, idea. I mean, people call it basic, whatever. But you have to have. You have to keep in mind. You have to have something that's going to be functional for your life. You know, what you see on social media is not what you see in real life. People are showing their Chanel flaps or MS Birkins. Girl, you don't see that in real life. I live in a really nice area in Houston, and I, I don't see a Birkin. I mean, I see, I feel like I don't see, like, a lot of these, like, flashy things as much as you would think. And so um, so if you want the number full, yes, it's is it basic? Yes. Do a lot of people have it? Yes. But 
I mean, it's popular. It serves its purpose. People love it. People use it. So I'd say go for it. And I think a lot of the designer totes, I think the Louis Vuitton Airfoil is still a really great option. I still think it's a really great choice. So if you want it, I say go for it. If you want another designer tote, uh, Ingrid, I have a YouTube video. My favorite designer totes video has over 100,000 views. I highly recommend you watch it. There's a lot of great videos on. Uh, there's a lot of great recommendations. Uh, I would suggest you to that. Uh, but if I were to recommend you another designer tote off the top of my head, uh, the Gucci Ophidia tote, which did go up in price since that video, and the Christian Louboutin tote, which did go up in price since that video. So those are the other two totes that I recommend. Um, uh, are all padded cassettes with the chain? No, this one's just a single one. Some have the chain and some don't, uh, but I prefer the one without the chain, just because for me it makes it look a little bit more casual. Uh, I've been watching your videos for a while. I just want to say uh, your videos are amazing. You're a great educator, and I love, love, love your style. Thank you so much, Unicorn Tada. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you're going to make me all cheeky. If we, can give, if we can give this video to 80 likes, I definitely appreciate it. It's only four likes. I'm trying to get to 100 before the end of the live stream. Um, Chloe says, I want to get the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in denim, but not sure if I should go if it goes with a lot of outfits. For example, outfits with no denim. What do you think about wearability? I was using that bag yesterday. It's actually in my kitchen counter. So I'm gonna actually gonna grab it so we can talk about it. 30 seconds. <laughs> Here is my denim bag. And surprisingly, this goes with a lot. I was wearing this getting a haircut. I was wearing like a black outfit, like something. I was wearing my Veronica Beard scuba jacket. This is the one from Oxmara. I probably wouldn't wear them with like these jeans but like this top with this with like blue jeans or like black pants i just like denim and i like how it has different colors and the thing is with denim bags usually if it's one particular shade of denim of the bag it's so hard to style i feel like it looks like just into, like if it was like this if this was just one full the tote bag like this i wouldn't wear it all the time what i love about this and the furlough opportunity tote in general is that it has all these different colors and shades of denim so it makes it so wearable to wear them with so many different denim styles that are like in blue from lighter blues that you think may not go to darker blues. Once you start getting into like grays and, and uh, gray denim, I feel like that's the only thing that doesn't go with it. But if you have black denim, I feel like this goes with it too. But I mean, I love it. I feel like it goes, it's I would say the denim is, a denim in general is classified as more casual. Um, so I will say this is going to be more of a casual bag. Even if you get like the leather ones, I feel like those are more dressy or some of the other ones, some of the other tote bags are a bit more dressy, but I would say this is pretty much giving uh, super casual vibes. If you're more of a casual girl and you do want to add this or just another bag, I mean, I love it. I've been using this. When did I get this? I got this probably in November or December of last year, and I love it. I love, 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 love this bag. No, I'm lying. I bought this. I got this with Farfetch like in August or September of last year, and I love it. They, it sold out, but they're bringing it back, so... I love it, but I will say it just doesn't go with gray pants, gray denim, but or like with certain colors. But I wear like a lot of neutral colors, so this goes and this goes. I like that it has these. So if you are wearing like a little bit of brown and stuff, um, this kind of breaks it up. You kind of I, I've carried this back this and like this, but I definitely prefer um, the smaller size if you ask me. Um, Sharon says, "Have you ever purchased uh, it?" Ernier T. Andrew, I know what brand you're talking about. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, what's your thoughts on this brand? Thank you so much. I know it was popular in the 80s. I do remember when I first started my channel, a lot of people were asking me about this brand. Uh, I know they carry it on Farfetch, I believe. Oh, it's very popular in Europe. I see a lot of European girls wear this brand. Uh, oh, Blooming Nose carries this brand. I did not know that. Uh, I think they're really great. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything bad about the brand. I have Honestly, I've never really touched them and played with them in person. So I can't give a 100% opinion on it, but I do know that a lot of the European girls that I watch or like smaller YouTubers, uh, I see them wear these uh, bags. But I would love to add one. Like I said, I'd love to have at least one bag from every company. And so I, I can see myself adding one. And they seem pretty good. And they were popular in the 80s. I mean, 80s was known for great quality. So uh, a lot of things are were way more quality. So I would love to add one eventually in the collection. Uh, let's see. Kamal's World says, thank you. Super Jacob says, big hugs and best. Sergio, oh my God. Oh my God. We have Super Jacob in the in the live stream. Oh my God. You're giving me all cheeky. Oh my God. I love you so much. And I, I, I don't know if you're still watching, but I want to tell you that I've been watching your videos since like 
I don't know, for the longest. You have definitely been a pioneer in the YouTube world, especially when it comes to fashion. And I've been a silent viewer for such a long time, like Moschino, like Jeremy Scott, like, you know, like back in the days, I've been watching your videos for such a long time. And I'm so thankful that you are in this live stream. Um, yes, know that you are loved here in Texas. So thank you so much for being part of the live stream. Um, let's see. Uh, Mel says, how do you uh, how do you have such great taste being you and how are you so wise and advised? Uh, again, being so young, pleasure to witness from Mel. I don't know. I feel like I've been through so much stuff in my life. Like, we would actually see, like, I feel like my life can actually be, like, a movie. Like, so much, like, crazy stuff has happened. And for me, like, I just knew, like, uh, a lot of people are mean. I would always get bullied, like, laughed at, like, assaulted. Like, it's just so much stuff that I can go on a day that I can actually write a book about it. So for me, I always, like, I always wanted to be nice and be nice to people because uh, you never know what people go through. You know, you may see, you know, not me personally, but just an example. Like, you watch me after this live stream and, you know, you don't know what happens behind the scenes. You don't know if, you know, there's somebody ready to, you know, beat me up, like, outside of here. You never know if I go out tonight and, you know, I get ran over by a car and I die. You know what I mean? You just never know these things can happen. So I, I always like to be nice. I always like to pay forward. I always like to be just myself. And I always just like to just just be a good human being because there's not a lot of people out there. There's a lot of shitty people out in the world. I've been fucked up many times. I've been screwed up a lot of times. But, you know, I've been through the gigs. But, you know, when you go through it, you know, you you know, like they always say, you know, you can always your crown may kind of tip off, but it's never going to fall off. And, you know, you just have to keep on going forward. You have to keep on move, move, moving forward. But in order for me to be where I'm at today, I went through so much. And so that's why I know how to be nice to people, how to treat people, or how to deal with people that are different from me. Uh, you know, I used to be very judgmental. I used to be very, you know, I used to be very jealous. I used to be a very envious person. I used to be like, everything you can think of, I have been through, honestly. And um, I just learned to cope with all that. You know, I learned to deal with all my issues. And I put that, all that stuff behind me. Was I a perfect person five years ago? No, am I a perfect person? No, now. But I just learned to just be, you know, just be a great person and, you know, just kind of keep it moving forward. And that's just how I am and learn from mistakes and learn from other people's mistakes so you don't make them. And that's just how um, I am. Uh, just try to be nice and keep, keep it moving. And you only have one life to live because, you know, you could die tomorrow and you never know. So that's just the way I look at it. Um, Barry says, um, does the Mew Mew denim tote still exist? I wanted to consider it in 2020, but the price was over $2,000. So I moved on. I don't think it still exists. I think it is still, I think it's discontinued. Mew Mew product has definitely gotten a lot more expensive, especially here in Northern America. Uh, like in, oh, it shows that it's still in stock, but I don't know. I feel like Mew, I don't think it's actually, I don't even think it's the one you're talking about. I think it's a completely different one. Uh, I, Oh yeah, it's still in stock. I mean, I like it, but I personally wouldn't spend twenty one fifty on it. I think there's other Mew Mew bags that I love, and I feel like it's a very like dupable. I can definitely get a different alternative in the contemporary world, and it's one sheet of denim too. So it's not like this one where you can, you know, have like fun colors of denim. You definitely have to wear a particular denim or a particular look for that. Or at least through my eyes, I, I like things to be very like like this. They cannot be all over the place. Uh, great things. That's from Chloe S. Uh, Jose Jimenez says, thoughts on Vanessa Bruno, bag, Bruno bags. I was going to buy one, one of the straw bags, but chose not to last second. So this is a brand that's been on my radar. I used to have Rent the Runway like two years ago, and I would love to have a lot of her clothing um, like two years ago. I have not, I know Bloomingdale's is like the main buyer of her items and Rent the Runway, um, but I have not like really looked at them a whole, whole lot. I don't even think like Saxo Neumann's carries them. Um, I know they're like a French brand or something like that. Um, I did a little research whenever I had the Rent the Runway and I looked them up. I was like, oh, like this is actually pretty good quality and stuff like that. But I haven't heard anything too much far from it. I I have, I know the clothes are good quality, but not sure of the bags. They're about, you know, they're about like 250. I mean, I like them. I think they're a little too, I don't know. I feel like there's other bags that I prefer a little bit better than these ones but i don't know i personally probably wouldn't get when they're a little too uh i don't know i feel like there's other bags in that material that uh i could for a little bit more if you ask me and then uh love you too sergio you're a kind soul oh thank you super Dacup. definitely appreciate it 
uh, we should hop on a live uh, pretty, pretty soon. I think I think there's a lot that we can talk about because you are very knowledgeable in a lot of things that you talk about. Um, Burberry says, is it good to get experience? Uh, is it good to get experience and not being impulsive in purchases? I'm so happy. I didn't buy the Mimu, but I'm learning uh, now to know my taste better. I've just, be, for me, I feel like for me, I just become so like picky about a lot of things. I feel like from age 16 to 20, I definitely was so hammered and I was just like so new to designer and luxury. And like, well, like I was just like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm going to spend this, I'm going to do that. I don't care. I used to be like, I mean, I'm still pretty crazy. Like I've done a lot of questionable and crazy things. I mean, I'm in my youth right now too. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, I'm wise and everything like that, but I've ha I have my moments. Like I'm confident, but I, but I have my moments like that. Like Demi Lovato song, La La Land. But, um, but I don't know. I feel like you just, it just comes with time when you purchase stuff, when you sell things and you see, oh, I only wore this one time. You see that on your closet. Like, I feel like you just kind of know and I feel like after you kind of are in the game for a little bit, you kind of you kind of learn to find your style. You know, yes, you evolve a little bit, but you kind of learn who you are as a person. And I feel like I'm kind of knowing that. That's why I'm a lot more uh, picky and like careful about a lot of things. Even you can see like a year ago, two years ago, I used to be I used to have more crazy hauls. You buy like more stuff, and now I'm kind of I'm more content with things I, who I am as a person with things that and the things that I buy. You know what I mean? I used to feel like I used to buy certain things to hide behind but now i'm pretty confident within myself so i feel like the brands used to wear me now i wear the brands in a sense um that's how i am within fashion um maribel says love love your knowledge you're a natural thank you maribel i appreciate it so 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 much and danny says out of your bottega veneta handbags what is your favorite uh i want to say my jody is my favorite uh, i bought it when it was 1720 when I worked at Nordstrom, it was like my baby and I still have it. And I bought it uh, like during holidays. I think I had like 30 or 40% off like the retail price. Now this bag is like $2,500 here in the States. It's the older version too, where it doesn't have the triangle or anything. I remember my, I think I told the story where like my dad was like, girl, it's like, he, my dad is like very much like, he only knows what like Gucci and Burberry and all that stuff is Louis Vuitton. He was like, you spent like, I think I paid $1,200 for this. You pay twelve hundred dollars for this, like it doesn't even have a brand or logo. But let me tell you, out of those are nice. I love them, but they're very delicate. Or even like my brown pouch, I like them, but I don't really wear them as much. This is very much like I could throw this on the floor. Sometimes you just need a black bag. It has been through the gigs. I have worn it. I have loved it. I have used and abused it. Uh, everyone, when I bought this bag, everyone, all my coworkers are normal. Like, why are you buying that bag? It's so basic. It's so ugly. But I mean, but I use it all the time. I love it. I love this. I love this little baggie. Yeah, serves its purpose. I love it. It's a good bar bag. It's a good club bag. I've taken this to weddings. I've easy, easy to travel with. I've taken this everywhere uh, to LA. Like, I love this bag. This bag is definitely my go-to. So this is my favorite Bottega Veneta. It's probably one of my top three favorite designer handbags that I have in my collection. If not top two, uh, I love, love, love this bag. This bag will never go anywhere in my collection. It's just such a core handbag now. Um, let's see. Uh, Burberry says, Sergio, I really think it's a good to evolve and learn. I just know how to sell, so I'm careful and more selective. Yeah, also like selling things and losing money and stuff like that's never fun and that's never cool. So I also never love to like lose out on stuff like that. So um, I can definitely see what you mean. And that, that's even me too. Like, uh, like so, I mean, I never really lost a lot of stuff, especially when I worked at Nordstrom. I would get stuff like an employee sells and stuff like that. So when I would sell things, I would most of the time break even or lose a little bit. And so I thought, but just like learning to go through the hassle is just like so much. So I kind of like learned to stop. If we can get this to 90 likes, I'd appreciate it, guys. We're ending towards the end of the live. I'll appreciate it. It's only six likes away. Uh, Danny says, do you think the mini Jody is still worth it as of now? I think there's been a price increase on them. Uh, yes, they're $2,500 now. I paid like half of what it was. Three years ago, coming this December, I think, or two years ago, maybe two years ago. I don't know. Time flies by so fast, but I've had it for a hot minute. I'd say, yes, it's still worth it. If I were to lose this back tomorrow, I would go out and buy it. I would be bummed out that it, this is the the original size, so it's a little bit bigger, and it, just, and it has silver hardware, which I prefer. The newer one's a little bit smaller and with gold hardware, but I would still buy it. People always complain, that, oh, it doesn't fit a lot, blah, 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 blah. Girl, yes, it does fit. It. Maybe because I have the smaller, the bit, the original version is a little bit bigger, but it fits everything. I love it all, and I wouldn't trade it in for the world. 
Uh, I love my little Bottega Bonita Jody. And sometimes, you know, thank you for asking that question because now that I'm on the ring like stuff, you know, sometimes I feel like you take certain things for granted. And now that I have it, I'm like, I love you, my little Jody. Like, I really, really appreciate you. But that's just me. But I still love it. Uh, Justin Fan says, hi. Hi, how are you? 89 likes. Can we get 90? There's one more. Uh, oh, my God. I've been talking so much. I've had this for, like, the last two and a half hours. And I'm still, like, um, been drinking on it uh, all this time. Um, so, you know, my live stream usually ends, like, around the two-hour mark. We're at 150. I'm going to give you guys, like, a minute or two if you guys want to ask any more questions before I hop out. I am more willing and happy to answer them. Oh, if we get to 100 likes. Oh, my God. If we get this live to 100 likes, uh, I would definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. It's only 10 likes, and it doesn't take anything. So if you guys can give this video a thumbs up or this live stream, makes me know that I should do more, and I love these. And I love that it's in a webcam, too, and everything. I feel like it looks a little bit more intimate. It's a little bit more like you're talking to a friend, if you know what I mean. Uh, how do you feel about this bag? Uh, Justin, uh, what bag? Are you talking about the Jody? Because... I love her so much. Barry says, um, I wear my mini Jody every day. I love handbags. I like to hold on to them, cook of them. I, I find that it gets frustrated wearing crossbody bags. Yeah, crossbody bags feel like something you're like hot. You've been like all over the place. I just love that like, you can cook it. Sometimes I even carry it like this. I just love it. It's so carefree and like, not necessarily hands free, but it's just the perfect bag. And since mine's black, like I throw it in the counter if it's all dirty. Like I, I have not, maybe there's a little bit of wear if you can see through like the lights and stuff, but like in the natural eye and the camera, uh, you really can't see the wear. And I love her and I'm happy that I got the black. When I bought this bag, I was crazy. See, I told you I used to be crazy. I bought this bag in white, brown, and black, and I decided which one I wanted. And part of me was gonna keep the brown. Now, now that I look back on it, I should have kept the white one and the black one. And at the time I had the, like, I was able to financially have both of them. Uh, I regret not keeping both of them because it would have been perfect because now I want the white one still. But um, I love her. So, I mean, uh, I love this bag. It's been great. Uh, Ms. Kushin said, can we get to 100 likes? Yes, we get this to 100 likes. Only seven likes away. And then I'll stop talking about uh, giving this likes. Uh, did you do enjoy your time at Nordstrom? I'm thinking about applying for a, for a job in the fall. Uh, yes, they. I got a lot of. I got a lot away with a lot of things that a lot of other luxury or like department stores. Like, I was able to have like to know it reward style. Uh, I was able to like call out all the time. I was able to show up late, leave early. My managers really loved me, and all my coworkers loved me. Uh, if I ever needed a job back at retail, or if I ever want to work back there, I'm always welcome. Um, I just had it, I, I had the nice end of the stick because I've seen a lot of other coworkers that have gotten screwed over, that have gotten, you know, fucked over. But my time at Nordstrom, I was like the most liked. Everybody liked me. I got along with everybody, but I got treated unfairly, but it worked in my favor at the end. I know it sounds bad to say, but at least I'm honest. I loved it. I love the discount. I love all the vendors that I made. I love all my clients and customers that I still talk and kiki it to this day. I love all the subscribers that I met. Um, I just loved it all going on 30 minute, you know, Starbucks breaks. Let me go to Starbucks and sit down, uh, blah, 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 blah. Or like help out my customer, buy a tote bag and go, let's walk around the store. Even if you don't buy anything, let's just keep and talk. Let's walk to Starbucks and have a coffee on me. Like I had it good. I loved it. I would, and I would actually sell, you know, someday, like during the weekends, I would sell, sell, sell. And during like the weekdays, girl, I'd not care. I, I'd be off the floor and I'd be taking executive lunch going to Nordstrom Mac for an hour and a half and keep keeping up. But I had that nice end of the stick. I will say that. Uh, but I loved it. And I think you should work there. Even Nordstrom Mac, I loved it too. Uh, Kali says, I love your lives. Been supporting your lives from day one. Although you took a break from them, I was missing them. Well, baby, I'm back here uh, going forward. So I'm not going anywhere. And uh, thank you so much for being part of the lives. And thank you so much for being a subscriber. Just know that I appreciate it. And, you know, nothing ever goes unnoticed. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Justin Fan says, oh, by the way, Sergio, I have a store that has a lot of Burberry's uh, for around $30. I should message you on Insta. Yes, message me on Insta so I can share on my Instagram because you guys know I love to share uh, people, you know, good deals and like informative and kiki and talk it up. So please DM me on that. I would love to share it. By the way, the Burberry outlet has an initial 20% off on all handbags. If you guys are wondering, I was there earlier today and they had so much great stuff. Uh, Dominique Taylor says, what is the best quality jewelry brand? I've been thinking about Bodhi Levy. Because I work in Nordstrom and I got that house 33. Ooh, girl. So you're either a manager or you got all-star 
or a pay setter. So congratulations, because whatever position you have or whatever, um, you worked hard for it. Boney Levy obviously is their house brand, so um, so you you know it's Boney Levy, so it's only sold there. I like oh I thought I had it on. I like Lagos a lot. I like Monica Vineyard. But my favorite Nordstrom jewelry brands were always uh, Michelle Watcher can always buy inexpensive somewhere else. I say Lagos. I love love love. I'm not a big John Hardy fan. I feel like it's a little too mature. I'm not a big fan. I think Shea is a little too expensive uh, at my store. Mickey Moto is a little too expensive for me. I would say I really like Monica Vinader. I really like Lagos. I love Lagos a lot. That's probably the brand that I have the most jewelry from. And I love Roberto Coin. Honestly, if you have House 33, I know Roberto Coin's a little bit more expensive. But honestly, out of all the brands, I'd probably say Roberto Coin. Like, this is beautiful. And I bought this when this was like, I bought this on a sample sale with one of my friends. I got it for like $450, like in another complete, uh, that's a whole other story. But um, I got it for four fifty, but this retails for twelve hundred dollars, and I now would pay twelve hundred dollars. And I love Roberto Coin, so honestly, Boney Levy is really good. It's a really great starter pieces. A lot of their like fourteen carats and stuff. I like Lana breaks too easily, uh, but I'll say Boney Levy's good. I like Monica. I like Lagos, and I love Roberto Coin too. So those are four of my favorite jewelry brands. And I like I know Nordstrom. I don't know if they carry a lot of the sterling silver by Kendra Scott. I also am a big fan of that too. Uh, what's a good uh, designer cologne for men? Uh, Tom Ford Ombre Leather. That's all you need, and you will love it, and you will thank me later. That's my favorite one. Uh, Joya says, best clutch sash wristlets. Uh, there's, like, a lot. It depends if you want during daytime or nighttime. But I would say uh, I would say for designer, I think I think Jimmy Choo makes the, probably my favorite clutches. And uh, for wristlets and, like, clutches... <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, for the price, I think Coach makes a lot of um, a lot of my favorite ones for contemporary for designer. I think Jimmy Choo does them really really good because a lot of them doesn't scream Jimmy Choo, so I feel like you can kind of get away with wearing like other brands of shoes. Uh, so I would say uh, I like the quality of Jimmy Choo handbags. They're not super popular, but I feel like Jimmy Choo quality is a uh, pretty good if you ask me for clutches. Uh, but every brand has their clutch, but it just depends what type of style, like uh, more casual or more kind of uh, like pouchy clutches or more kind of dressed up uh, clutches. Uh, is the, acro the small acro tote will discover where to, uh, will I discover where to wear it? Uh, can you do blazer, mod shot, to share, and to share blazer best looks? Uh, yes, uh, I think on my Instagram, I have a few looks with the acro tote, uh, but I've worn it with body suits, I've worn it with blazers, and I've worn it with coats and everything. I think I have an uh, outfit that I have it with my totem coat, and I have the acro tote. On my pot of loafers, and it looks really, really good. But uh, it literally goes with everything. It has no hardware, so you can wear it with gold, silver, rose gold, rainbow hardware. It goes with everything. Oil slick. Uh, Nini says, thank you, Sergio, for the live, and thank you for our honest and sweet per usual. Keep up being yourself. I love how genuine and warm you are. See you on the next live. I'll see you next Friday at 7, Nini. I know it was a little late today. Appreciate you. If we can get this video three more likes, we're at 97. If we get to 100, I appreciate you guys. Uh, can you recommend a metrosexual man back so I can buy it for my 19-year-old son? The I really like a lot of um there's this coach bag. If um let me see. This bag. Uh you can look it up. It's three by like five hundred dollars. You can wear it. Top handle, shoulder bag, and belt bag, and it's very flat, and they come in a lot of nice colors. I personally like the green one. Um it's called the Coach Small Tabby Leather Bag for Men. I feel like you will love that bag. I love it. And I also really like a lot. I am I really like the Gucci Fanny Packs for Men too, for whatever reason. But the Coach Tabby Flat, I think, is a really good uh, uh, bag for men. I really, really love to see that bag on men. And then I love you says Chunky Heels or Platforms. Uh, chunky Heels. Nothing like a Chunky Heel. You know what I mean? A chunky heel uh, hold your balance a little bit better. Uh, if we can give this video two more likes, guys, I'd appreciate it. 98, we can get this to 100. And then take one second and watch somebody unlike this video. That's happened before. 99, one more, guys. <laughs> and then we're good. Literally, we made it. 103. Si, estaba chingando, chingando for 100 likes. And yeah, me dijeron que me caigo la pinche boca. Pues toma, se te damos 103. Um... Thanks. Uh, you you earn a subscriber, Sergio. I love your positive and calm vibe. Truly enjoyed this live. Look forward to the next one. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful weekend, too. Te quiero. And, yeah, guys, that's going to be two hours of the live. I'll see you next 
Friday at 7. We're going to kick it up, and you can ask me anything. And I cannot wait to see all you guys here. And hopefully, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Y los miro hasta la próxima. Bye. Y los quiero, y los quiero mucho. And I love you too, uh, Dominic Taylor. Bye, guys, and have a great one. Bye, Sharon. Bye, Veronica. And you'll have a wonderful weekend.